To Ripper's Resurrected Session 21. So this game is old enough to drink legally in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> when we last left our... Uh, we, we are missing Mikey tonight. He's traveling for the Thanksgiving holiday. And uh, Jeff's going to come back with some oh, whiskey. Nope. Oh, maybe. There's, the, there's an open one under the bar. Uh, when we last left our group, they had gone to uh, Budapest, Transylvania area. In search of Dracula, who had kidnapped Tara Lagrange, who is the new leader of the Old Worlders. Worlders. I knew that. That's because I told you this morning at work. Yeah. I listened. <laughs> That's because I'm not your wife. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh, True on all counts. Uh, you guys had uh, found a group of Old Worlders who were under attack by the Cossacks, who were waiting for vampires to show up. I mean, waiting for uh, werewolves to show up. And they showed up. They did show up. You held them all off. Um... The skin of her teeth. Yes, and you said that, and you found out that um, Terra Lagrange summoned everyone to meet at Ponari to hopefully take out Dracula. Uh, they had them on the right. The, 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 if the anything they can reunite the Cabal in the area, it is Dracula, and that appears to be happening. That's so, a bad thing, right? Yes. <laughs> so he does not know what happened to Terra Lagrange, but he suggests you head to Ponari. The, he and his partner there, the only two who were unwounded. There were several more that were like five more on the ground. They're um, going to escort out and back. I wasn't able to miraculously bring them to their feet? No. Did you bother looking up healing here while you no, have a minute? Well, well, there's a book right here. You can, just, you can just look up healing. I don't want to know what the answer is because I'm pretty sure. We would kind of like to know. Fine. 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 So are we healed? Yes. But you won't be next time you get hurt because I think we, we think that Adam... Drastically abused grossly the healing. Grossly abused the healing mechanic, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And by grossly abused, I mean just kind of made it up on the fly. <laughs> uh, Lenia wannabe. Yep. Pretty much. All right, so the um, the old worlders, before they depart, give you a rough map of the area. Wow, you're really good at reading that. And uh, tell you where Ponari is, which Better is the couch got Dracula's castle. And uh, you guys head off. The five of you with Ford in tow. And head, uh, that is that. Um, so, not for you. Jinkuya. Hmm? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I brought fresh cider today from Beer City if you want. Oh. Jeff just likes it straight up. <laughs> You're not having one? <laughs> He's got a fair glass for himself. <laughs> so, all right. Um, no. you, en you enter the area of. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you went to the uh, the area of Ponari Castle. Everybody, give me a notice, survival, or tracking roll. Uh, your choice, Mike. You are. I mean, Bob. You are running early tonight too. Uh, unless, unless someone, someone else, else wants, wants to do it. it. No, you looked at the sheet first. Okay. <laughs> Four. Two You should pay me royalties for every time you say that. You said notice, tracking, or survival. Nine. Nine for tracking. Wow. Six. Early and uh I am just popping it into his character sheet. I'm gonna get him all set up for the future, but here we go. Here he's tracking and notice the same thing and it should show Erling's roll. Early yep, there we go. <clears throat> Erling rolled a four. And I have to close this out. Sorry. And there it is. So Bob, can that can that coffee can that kitchen table hold up your giant laptop? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm cheating. I'm using the work laptop tonight. Jonathan Quirk rolled a notice test of ten. Ooh, paying attention this evening. Uh, be, that's why we put everybody at the table at the TV instead of sleeping on the couch. This is gonna be the worst <laughs> rolling ever for uh, early. Early. <laughs> Jeff's about 18 inches from the TV. We can move the table back if we're a little too close. <laughs> I still can't read it. <laughs> he, he picked up his glasses and Bobby 
I still can't read it. <laughs> I can read it. <laughs> uh, it's great from here. So it's between. I can read it. He's six inches from the TV. The, the text is just big. <laughs> you won't even notice a difference. <laughs> uh, between the, the five of you, uh, you make note that there are numerous patrols, Cossacks with hounds. It's a, it's a hard sell to avoid those. You eventually pick up the track of uh, a, another group wandering in the woods and tracking them down. You reckon, recognize them as a pair of oh, another pair of old worlders. These are my people. <clears throat> we attacked Ponari last oh. week on Ms. Lagrange orders. We knew the Cabal was gaining strength and this seemed to be the center of activity. Terra told us Dracula had returned, but we scoffed. What fools we were. It was him. I'd stake my life no. on it. Dracula is back. He marshaled his forces and repelled our attack. In the chaos, they took Terra the prisoner. They're holding her in the castle. We've been evading Cossacks for days. But we saw Dracula's black coat sweep away in the west several hours ago. If we are careful, we may be able to infiltrate the castle and recover Terra before Dracula makes her one of his brides. Will you help us? No, we're good. Awesome. Well, let's see. What, what, what are you talking about? This is Dracula. Unite us. United we've got vampires, <laughs> we've got absconded allies, and we've got a princess in a castle. I think that meets all the requirements as a proper British person. I'm in. She's not a princess. She's your leader of the old world, for sure. Uh, close enough. All right. So the uh... if only we had a Holocaust cloak <laughs> or a wheelbarrow. Uh, <laughs> on the upside, the the old rulers have scouted the area pretty well. They're guessing there's around thirty Cossacks manning the. the uh, Manning Ponari. They have no idea. They've seen at least four different women who could be brides. There could be more. There could be less if they're incorrect. Oh. Um, Wait, he's a polygamist? How many of us are there? <laughs> There's one Irish. He, uh, we won't be brides. They, they, he, he takes you close to the... Uh, Speak for yourself. To it, and he draws a little... Uh, here's a picture of it by a day. That's where I killed mess. them all. For Bob's uh, levitation and dropping, dropping guys on their heads. Yeah, that's right. Dropping guys on other guys' heads. I will confess that was tremendously fun and satisfying in an efficient kind of way. So there's the castle during the course of the day. Oh, it looks, looks like your house. Oh wait, put your phones away. You can't hear I'm playoffs. looking up stuff, I'm trying to figure out how to search the thing so I can find healing. Uh, that is the castle during the day. You guys spend the rest of the afternoon avoiding um, patrols. scouts, patrols, and uh, you hunker down for a few minutes. Like the bridge. The flying buttresses? Like in the Wizard of Oz? That bridge uh, is brutal. I don't see any flying buttresses there. I'm saying more uh, the bridge in uh, the two towers. Gulliver's Travels. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, uh, the one that leads up to the gate. Yeah. Toss me! <laughs> <sighs> Finally, you guys get enough fairing that you can uh, work with the old worlder and draw uh, a bit of a map for yourselves of the area. They have done a little more scouting than you have. So you get down to them and he starts drawing in the dirt. He says, you know, he points at Jeff and he says, you're the uh, you're the bottle cap. He points at, uh, at uh, Joel, you're the rock. I say, what's that? <laughs> that's just a piece of dirt. That's a stick. That's a stone. Yeah. <laughs> that's a rock. Chapel Cemetery. So okay, the, wow, the, that's a detailed map. The castle is a hive of activity. Uh, During the day? Yeah, you, from well, you, you've you've been you, you've observed for a few hours. There's that's a good. lot of activity going on. Um, it's it is daylight, so you haven't seen Dracula. You have to take the word that he has gone. So, uh, how you get in is up to you. you Perling can... produces a small. Uh, field glasses telescope from a pocket and he puts it to his eye to get a better look can he tell how many uh people are on the ramparts or how many guards there are and do they seem to be moving in a pattern and also do they have weapons well you'll need to make a notice check for that i think mike can do a notice check i mean erling can do a notice check i'm guessing it's going to be like a 37 let's see oh he rolled a 10 he exploded twice. Ah, maybe, there, maybe it was rough. Uh, I mean, from this distance, it is hard to tell, but it, it, he counts at least a dozen distinct men on the walls. It could be as many as uh, 15 or 18. 
Who? Uh, as a group, you you and the old worlders figure you've avoided at least three unique patrols that roam in the castle grounds. So there's that, and uh, you have no way of knowing how many guard the dungeons, even though they tell me that number in the book. Yeah, Fair enough. Oh, uh, armed with uh, muskets in the same way those other bad guys were in the woods? Yes. Okay. In fact, I should find the page with their information on it. So there's, so there's, a, there's a, a solid 25 to 30, at least, that you can tell that are in, are in that castle. Bloody hell. So st stealth may be your, your best solution, I, but I, am, I leave that up to you. Full Call me, assault. gentlemen. That's the spirit. <laughs> It'll be a slaughter. <laughs> That's the spirit. No, our slaughter. <laughs> gentlemen, why don't we just go to the pub and uh, have a cold one and wait for this thing to, to blow over? Ah, <laughs> uh, perhaps not. I do not think that uh, 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 Frau uh, uh, Lagrange will, will make us through very well if we do that. I'm going to do a, a notice check. About looking at their map, thinking about where the best place for entrance into the uh, area would be. Okay. Four. I don't know that notice is necessarily the right skill for that. Um, Stealth, investigation. Investigation, I think, is probably Street better. Wise. Is, that, is that a wall around the, the keep and dungeons? Seven. All right. I, I think maybe we come over here and sneak around. This, this is the one, this is the part where I wish that Bob could see my mouse on the screen. That's probably the biggest complaint I have about D twenty about yeah. roll twenty. All right, Bob, I'm going to try here uh, on the TV. So there's the word Castle Dracula across the top, mm -hmm. and then there's the the brown area where the word Stables is written, and then there's some lines that are up and down lines. Then there's a lighter colored area. That's the road. And just below that, there's a darker one that, that kind of loops around. That is the road, the main yeah. the main drive And that's in. going up in elevation? Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, he's talking. He's getting us some marching orders. Can, can you ping the map and show him what you're talking about? I don't know if he'll be able to tell the exact. Is, is this higher or lower? That's lower. That's lower. That so drops off. So yes. we're looking up. A yeah, look, look, look at the picture of, of, of Ponari. Yeah. That, that is actually Ponari. Uh, gentlemen, my apologies. I do have to step away probably for about 10 minutes-ish, but I will be back. Uh, sorry, but go, have fun storming the castle without me. I will definitely be back. Well, Try we, not to we, we get us killed. Minutes. We can we'll, not, we'll, we'll pause the recording and come back. Well, that's time. okay. That's okay. Keep going. I'll, I will definitely be back. We just have to help out one thing with, uh, with Andrew's mom. But I will be back. All right. Are we stopping or I guess? Or do you want to continue? Those have your chips. Jules frowned at me when I bought those, but everybody liked them so far. That's because she's crazy. You, right. knew, you know what you were doing. Have one more. So, the healing skill requires 10 minutes, 100 rounds to use. You can only make one attempt per patient unless they get wounded again. There's a minus two penalty if you don't have medical supplies. Eh, just a little bit of a... Takes 10 minutes. Just a little bit of a fudge. Take 10 minutes. You did it in six seconds. <laughs> yeah. I'm that good of a doctor. Dang. All I really did was shoot him up with morphine and just, just tie the wounds up and get them back to fight. And then I went back and actually healed them properly after the fat battle was over. I see. Second so flavor that shit. Try the new stool, Jeff. Uh, do we want to continue your, your, strate your strate strate strategies here? Or wait? Continue. Yeah, well, the thing is, do we want to continue with our master strategy? <laughs> he is the strategy guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think if I think. Uh, Was your strategy to wait for the strategy guy? Yes, I think it. I think that's the, the strategy. All right, then I will stop the recording. And we're back from our brief respite. Where? Uh, Jeff, Jeff, I had a thought. I, I think, think you, you can, can move your mouse and do that right-click right shift thing, and yeah, I, it does a little circle. It, uh, so this. Is the road? Yep. yep. All right. So that loops up and around. Um, that would mean that this is the courtyard. Does that make sense? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. And then those those round circles or towers, those thinner lines are um, would be walls, I would guess. I see. And uh, I'm guessing that beige area with the lines is like high ground, like a cliff. 
And it's on top of a cliff? It's, uh... it's on top of a cliff. Okay, okay. So it's going up to the plateau. Yes, it's a raised area. Uh, well, I wonder, gentlemen, do any of you know the history of this castle? Uh, most castles require drainage, sanitation, uh, to get rid of excess water. Does anyone know of the history of how this was built and if it has such such construction items as well? I have heard many a story. I think you are forgetting that we are in a, uh, a fantasy campaign. And uh, when is the last time you have gone to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're forgetting that we are in a fantasy campaign, and every castle has a tunnel that fits three men broadside, clearly walking through with a lit torch in every sconce as you pass. And that, Implying, leads, that leads to treasure room or right. to king's uh, king's room. King's private Precisely place. correct. Oh. Precisely. If, if, correct. If, if that does not exist, then there is a, a, the seven foot sick wall has an archway underneath it with a small iron gate. So you could just <laughs> run in like an Olympic torch on it and blow this thing up. Yeah. <laughs> ah. uh, I happen to notice that Erling is trained both in uh, archaeology and history. So I wonder if uh, he might make a roll to see if he knows the history of the castle. Sure. Or the archaeology related to ancient castles. Sure. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, knowledge, archaeology. So Erling has rolled. Wow, that is insane. Mike got uh, two explosions on an eight, and then the third one was six. I think he's rubbing off on you, Bob. No, I think, I think that's just Mikey. Mikey's character channel, Mikey. Yeah. That's, that's incredible. My gosh. Inconceivable. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think it means how much you think it means. Yes, he wrote the book. So Ear Erling, um, <laughs> Erling built this castle. <laughs> <laughs> Out of Legos when he was two. Yeah, right. Well, because his, his, his uh, great great grandfather drew up the plans for it, and they were still, you know, in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> they found it one day when they were doing some spring cleaning. Yeah, it was his thesis. In, in looking yeah. Looking at the castle, he said, "It's, it's a there's a good chance that um, because the castle is so tall." that the sewers um, have a, a significant drop as part of the drainage system. So that you, there may not be a way to, to be accessible through the sewers. Mm. But um, he guesses where they would come out. And if you guys want to go for a walk, you know where that, to be. it is actually outside the walls down by where the K is, where it says keep and dungeons. We go down south. Let's check it out. We're going down, down, All right, give down. me a, um, a notice of survival <laughs> or tracking. If, if, all, if all of you fail, then you run into a Cossack. Six. Notice. What are the odds that we'd all fail? Pretty split. Yeah. I can calculate it, but it's better for just you know, roll the dice. <coughs> you have both of them. Come on. What's that one? You guys have already, you're already, you're, you managed to avoid the, uh, the, the track. It's starting to be, it's definitely late. Uh, That's the die that I'm missing. It's just D6 from the Smurf campaign. Sorry. So Erling got a critical failure. And uh, Quirk uh, exploded. So Erling's got a one and Quirk's got an eight. That's all right. You guys cover for each other. You make it. Uh, you okay. make it there. Like I said, it's starting to get a little dark out. You definitely find a, a trickle of effluent. Not that, not that Dracula needs to go, but his soldiers do. Come on, that was funny. Dracula's <laughs> <laughs> just flying somewhere else. I don't think he eats. Why? Well, but then he do it like the birds do? Guano? Just on the fly? Yeah. Uh, There's a pile underneath his uh, yeah. little guano that's uh, used for fertilizer. I was going to say it's good fuel. Yeah. Yeah. I know where. All right. We, uh, we're searching around. For... There's a, do you find a, a, I'll call it a small tunnel. It does have a metal grate over it. It is not the greatest of condition, but it is certainly. <laughs> Sorry. Ford. You. You fit into this better than anybody else. The, the tunnel is, is about uh, three foot circular, so it's crawling through the effluent. Andy Dufresne, Andy can't Dufresne. imagine the smell. <laughs> actually, 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 though, isn't it a castle populated by vampires who drink blood? Do they even need to use, like, well, there's 30, outhouses? There's at least 30 castle guards there. Oh, that's fair. Okay. Fodder. So, 
the uh, the old rulers say you had a better plan. We, we can create a distraction if you want over by a certain whatever area, and you guys can try to sneak in whatever the other side is. If you want to crawl through the pipe, I think we'll we wait for you here. I think we crawl through pipe. Uh, if uh, dead end, we come back and do distraction. I'm going last. <laughs> well, gentlemen, it is better to go in the daylight than it is at night. I think time is of the essence. I think we're better during the night because the guards and guard duty won't see us easily. Census Bureau. Certainly, but then you've got the vampires to worry about. I'd rather take a mortal opponent than an undead, immortal demon. You don't lie, you want to kill the vampire brides. You of all people would want to kill the vampire brides. Right, I want to kill them now, in their sleep, while they're in their coffins. Of course, Ford. My goodness, you're like 11 years old, aren't you? Don't question my wisdom, my goodness. I'd like to kill the vampire, but this is Count Dracula. Dracula's not there. Dracula's... Is, is, is he out flying around somewhere, or he's in No, they said, his car they said the old worlder said his carriage left earlier in the day. He went on a holiday. So, okay. well, he Vacation. Could come, he could be back oh, there. Yeah. He, it, is de it is definitely in your, European, so. in your best interest to make it quick. Erling well, says, not here, I've, just, I've got 50 guys. bullets that will kill 50 humans, and I've only got 10 silver bullets that will kill 10 bad creatures. So let's go in and kill 50 humans versus 10 werewolves. Do, do vampires get, uh, they're not vulnerable to silver, though. No, no we're we'll just kill everyone. I think we should <laughs> uh, create a trap on the road that will trap Count Dracula when he comes back. Well, our goal here is to kill Dracula. Uh, our goal here is not to kill the Count Dracula. Our goal is to rescue uh, Frau Frau Terra Lagrange by killing Frau, Count Dracula. Frau Lagrange. Frau Lagrange, we presume, is in the castle. We should. We at least need to investigate for her. What so, I, is that if I'm in agreement with the good doctor. doctor. I think he's, he's spot on here. here. We must rescue the Count Lagrange and get out. And kill as many vampires as we can along the way. Yeah. Yes. Mix up spikes in the room. So you, you got a flat to pop, tire. To pop, to, to pop the, the, the carriage tires? <laughs> the wooden carriage tires. Yeah. <laughs> the metal band. I am bad at the wooden carriage tires. <laughs> we could dig, dig a pit so he'd fall in there. He, he, he'd have to travel at night time. He this can't travel during the day. This is so you can travel during the day as long as the, the carriage is fully closed. You're assuming, you're assuming that Dracula is a vampire? Is, uh, has the same same vulnerabilities as the rest of the vampires. So he may be so old that he can, he can walk in the day. Or he could drive oh, along with the windows sort of blacked out, but not Maybe really. he's so old he cannot walk anymore. <laughs> 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 I remember reading that at the time... When he was first appeared, he could travel during the day. Ah. So the clock, I believe, as they say, is ticking, yeah? Let's go through these sheets. Indeed. Let's, let's, let's see what the terrain is, is, then we can make a decision. What, what time would you say it is, Josh, uh, in terms of how close okay, it is so to the, the time nightfall? Of year, you're probably into, the, probably into April, May at this point. Uh, oh, so I meant uh, time of the day. <laughs> so, you know, no, no, so I'm trying to make it all oh, add up right That now. is the light poop year. Oh, I see. So it's probably around 4.35 o'clock. It's still getting Light poop time of year. Very little poop. <laughs> 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 okay. Let us go through. Actually, the fact of the matter is, would it, would it really have that, or would it just have a bunch of outhouses with holes in the ground? Um, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt on the sewers, because you're, because Mike, you're old 22, and you guys are trying to be inventive. Uh, perhaps you should take advantage of the, uh, the old builder was offered to make us a distraction, yeah? I agree. I think that would be wise to take a few of the guards off us. Should I mean, we scout the sewers first? Could we, see yes, what we can see and then go back? Could, could, we, could we come around the right-hand side of the castle and kind of slip back here and wait around this here guardhouse here, you know, travel here undetected? Light stables on fire. Well, as the, the guards could make a distraction <laughs> on the road. We see the uh, sorry, the old builders make a distraction on the road. Once the guards run out, we just sneak in behind them. We kill all the guards. Oh, we could kill them. We, just we could flank the guards and kill them, or we could just walk, walk as you know, let them run out the front gate and we walk in. They, uh, we could have old worlders. All, all, all the guards are going to leave. We Many can, of them. Not we all just of them. need to kill five guards, take their uniforms, and march in at the end of the line when they march back in. 
I, yes, uh, ah, yes, uh, I believe that. Saw that in the movie once. The Visit, the Visit of Oz was on TV recently. <laughs> <laughs> I know it hasn't been written for, until 44 years from now. Yeah. The movies have not been that digest either. What's a movie? <laughs> it's not. Uh, I saw the play. Uh, Faust? It's on TV. Yeah, it happened. What about? Alright, are we here in the morning? Good, it's uh, done. You did sneeze. Like 20 times in less than a half hour. I know. I mm. stopped drinking the beer and the sneezing stuff. I'll stop when Jeff got here. No, what's he stop drinking for? <laughs> <laughs> you alright? Inconceivable. <laughs> Keep drinking. Okay. Problem solved. You never know. Yeah. Too late. What about you? Mm-hmm. Did you turn it down? Did you turn my set up? No, I didn't turn anything on. I can't see him. Can't see him? Oh. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Amy. Have a good one. Thank you very much. You too. Thanks, Have a great Tully great time. Enjoy your time with family. Thanks. Tell Andrea I said hi. I surely will. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Bye. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh, I just, you are going somewhere. Yes. You Thank you. <laughs> Where are you going? Like Virginia? Uh, Maryland. Maryland. Oh, that's fine. Uh, oh, by, uh, not quite as far. Like... 5% of his trip. You stay up there, Bob? It's kind of another country. Oh, It is yes. like this line. Yeah. My wife, uh, yes. And took Allie. I wasn't sure if you come down for your family or not. So. No, no. We, we, we're we're oh, looking at a question of days right now. Okay. Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, Before we get started again, I'm sorry. I just, I just... Sorry. I didn't interrupt that. But I just noticed that there's dice around the outside of these poker chips. Dice faces. Um, hey, cool. They've had that since the beginning. I know. I just noticed it. You didn't just, just pick up. On this last you just picked that up. Yeah. <laughs> Bob, Bob is, is is in another state. And he picked that up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what purpose they serve, but they're there. Yep. All yep. Right, <laughs> I go up the sewer shaft. All right. Thank you. Is there like a constitution check? <laughs> uh, give me an agility check. You just swim without getting poop in your mouth. That's an attribute. Oh, Joel. Oh. Ooh, look at Joel, man. Five. Five. You managed to avoid sliding back down and crushing anybody behind you. You, uh... Did you bring a wait a minute. Oh, we're going... That's right, we're going up. Did we tie ourselves together first? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could use a slide on the way out. <laughs> man, did you frame? Oh. You make it up. It's, it's a pretty long ride. You, pretty, pretty long climb, slide, everything you want to call it, whatever term you want to use. Um... There is a couple bends in there, so you can't really see out afterwards. They couldn't see in. But you do come out into a, a bathroom. <laughs> Big drink. <laughs> <laughs> if, if somebody sees you coming out, you say, I flopped my wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> Where do sewers come? You're, they, they always go in in, 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 in in fantasy books and stuff. Yeah. But where do they come out of the castle? Uh, somewhere in a hallway. <laughs> It's a secret door. Yeah. No, they call no trap. Yeah. No. You, you literally crawl out of a toilet. You know, an outhouse with a big, you know. <laughs> By the way, really Laszlo is really kind of disgusting right now. <laughs> I see. So Laszlo's in the castle by himself right now, right? Worse, worse, oh, right? worse than yeah. normal. <laughs> I was going to say, we can tell it. Since well, it's bad. <laughs> Oh, and on the flip side, the pipe is much cleaner than it was when you first could have gone. <laughs> Anybody else joining him? I, uh, uh, Quirk is, for sure. He uh, has the ability to see in the dark. He's not going to split the party. Plus, Plus he, he wants to kill vampires. I'll bring up the rear. There's plenty of rear in here. <laughs> well, we all have to roll? Plenty of rear in the deer uh, rear. No, I'll say everybody rolls. Each success a person gets a, a, a bigger plus one because the person before you has cleaned out some more of the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Erling goes next. Lose the goose. Quirk and Erling were next, so Quirk goes. He gets a plus uh, one on his agility roll. Maybe Erling, Erling can go next because Erling's a little more agile than sure. Quirk. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Okay. Uh, here's, here's Erling's agility, agility roll. He's, he's got, got a D10 agility. agility. <laughs> <laughs> what did he? What did he do? Twenty-seven. <laughs> What the hell? I, think it's, I like being Mike. Mike. This is amazing. How many explosions is that? You've rolled, you've rolled one, two, 
three, like four that. times for him. Three of them wow. have green boxes around them, which means it's a maximum roll. Yeah. That's, That's incredible. incredible. Uh, and then here's uh, here's Quirks. He got a seven. Seven. All three. <laughs> Nice hey, I got one explosion. Uh, I got one explosion. That was good. Three. You got his plus three. Eight. He makes it. Shepard has a plus four. Drawing a D eight. Jeez. His agility is an eight. Yeah, no, just saying that you have a high agility. That's all. So I got ten. Yeah, you came mm. through. That's good for an old man. That is pretty good. Four, four, four <laughs> shows up. He doesn't have a spot on him. <laughs> I fucking hate that kid. <laughs> you liar. Come closer. Give me a big hug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you find yourself in, um, you know, the bathroom. Are we in the? Do we know where we are? No, we probably wouldn't. Wouldn't we? You have no idea. Check the medicine cabinet. Yeah. There's no medicine cabinet. <laughs> I use the it's, bidet. It's, I use the, say, can I we use step the, into the shower and rinse off? <laughs> I use no. the bidet to wash myself off. All right, let, let's call it a glorified outhouse. It's really just a bunch of bunch of holes in the ground that people should. So you, you really, really want to call it a glory hole. That's <laughs> what you're saying. So we are within the confines of the castle? You believe so. <coughs> yeah, open the door to find out. Huh? It does smell like the stables here. <laughs> <laughs> that. I that wish it of, smelled like the stables. That would kind of stink. <laughs> if we walked out and found ourselves in the stable. Yeah, right. On the outside of the tall t- Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, somebody poked their head out. Erling. Why don't you poke your head out there? Uh, uh, hey, Erling, would you please see if you could find out where we are in the castle? Who is stealthy? Go for it. Oh, uh, that would that would be Erling. And he's got the knowledge of castles as well from his uh, knowledge, history, and archaeology. So he's happy to do it. Uh, notice check, I guess, or stealth? What, what would you like, Jack? Uh, you're not looking for anything. You're looking to be hidden, so I would say stealth. Okay. He uh, has... I thought he had stealth. Wait a minute. Did I... Oh, oh yeah, stealth. he's he's D8 stealth. Yeah, you're not gonna do anything. I don't care. Exactly, you're apathetic. Here you go. He oh he got a three. Uh, is it worth it? Is it worth a Benny on that one? Yeah, he's gonna use one of his Bennies and try to reroll that. One of your dice rolled a one. All right, he has two left. <clears throat> what is this blue? His stab. Blue's pass. Six this time. All right. Nothing around it. <clears throat> he goes to push the door to open it. He recognizes that he's in a, in a, in a basement kind of area, and it's um, kind of musty, and his hinges might squeak. So he takes proper care when he opens the door, and they do not squeak for early. He looks out in the hallway. It's, uh, it's a corridor, a series of chambers off of it, a couple of torches. It's pretty dark. Uh, nothing. He doesn't see anything obvious. Nothing sees him that he could tell. Would Erling's knowledge of history and archaeology give him a sense of where they were relative to the layout of the castle? So, somewhere in the basement of the castle. It's hard to tell if it's the storerooms, the dungeons, or where. But we know we're in the castle as opposed to the chapel or some other You're almost certainly building. in it based on your... The we distance have, you traveled. Do we have dwarfing? Uh, and the, the makeup of the area. <laughs> I, I mean, no, so. nothing else they really had was this, this large have structure. Have any, have the only... Go potty before we go. <laughs> <laughs> Only other question, Erling, uh, would he know where, like, holding cells were, or a brig, Every or a place where different. cells are kept? Every castle would be different. Library. Mm, okay. Kitchen. Alright, so you can go left or right. Washroom. Are there any signs of wear and tear on the ground? Uh, dust, more dust in one side versus the other side? That in, implies is, it, is, it, is it old castle? There's definitely wear and tear all over the place. Um, or do, or it, it, can we tell where people have been more recently than others? It, no. We go left. Oh, you might want to take a notice check. Are we listening? To determine that? Uh, perhaps no. you should look for tracks or see look, if we can notice anything. Yeah? Look, uh, one other question. question. Has the, the sewers that we just came out of the restroom that we're in, that outhouse, has it recently been used? Six. Uh, I'm going to go with yes, considering the state of our clothes. Well, the, the, that outhouse is part of a... Uh, a network of tunnels. You came out on the, on the lowest level of them. Yeah. So other people higher up. Oh, you know, okay. Downhill. <laughs> oh, oh, trust me, I'm aware. Uh, uh, civil engineer. But we like uh, the poop is fresh in this outhouse. Like somebody used it recently. Versus, okay, that's what I wanted to know. No, the 
So this is the one you go to when you want to read the magazine in peace. The scroll. <laughs> the scroll. You go to when Adam's already taken a stall on the floor. You, you, you have <laughs> two, two, two floors up. up. Hey, you know I won't do that to you tomorrow. Hey. <laughs> All right, we go left. All right, so you start exploring. Uh, are you trying to be stealthy? Are you being extra observant? Anything specific? Yes. Want to pick out a song? To sing? Marching song. When Johnny comes marching home again, hurrah, hurrah. All right, give me stealth. 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 We all do it stealth? Yeah. Five. Got? So here she comes, just a walking down the street. Oh, here she I comes, just a walking down, down, down the street. La La <laughs> My wife is trying to listen. Oh, sorry. La Laszlo manages to, to shuffle his feet and his, his shit covered shoes on the ground so he doesn't make any noise. Seven. Uh, seven. Shit is like um, sponge. What are, what are we rolling? Wow, seven untrained. There we are. Everybody's excited to see. Do my daddy, daddy, daddy. Another maximum for early. That is absolutely insane, Bob. Three I know. Three. He got an 11 on his stealth check. Uh, and Quirk got a 5. I'm looking at, like, 2. All right. As a group, <laughs> you say you're, you're, you're satisfactory to make, the, to make the rounds. You explore this this level a little bit more. It's definitely a, um, a very infrequently accessed area you, you found yourself in. Uh, there's some old storerooms. There's uh, very little in them, rotten food, cool. stuff. The, the stuff that may have even been used from before Dracula was killed by the um, by the rippers. The first time. <laughs> All right, we look for some staircases. Here we go. Give me a notice check. Because you need to roll high to find the stairs going up. They may be hidden. I got this, guys. I got this, guys. Thirteen. <laughs> I know Ooh, when the stairs go nice. up and when they go down. Seven. I'm slightly less sure of you, but still pretty sure. I point to him. Where, you... Where do those stairs go? <laughs> <laughs> you get you get to the stairs, and um, Lazlo notices that there's a, a funny break in the wall, and that he's able to. It kind of it's 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 not that it's. A secret door that you push open. It's just the way the walls form that it makes it gives an optical illusion that it, it ends there. And he's able to actually find the staircase that also goes down. All in all, it's just a <clears throat> break, break, in, break the in the wall. Let us go, uh, peek. Peek? Peek. Don't walk We'd under any already. battle axes. <laughs> Thanks to the bombers. We go over and investigate that area. Oh, I thought you were going to reach for your dice and do an investigation. No. All right, you uh, you descend some, yeah. some stairs. The the air gets thick. You know, you, you can feel the well, moisture. Oh. You can thicker smell than the, the air <laughs> we, the tube we <laughs> just went through. It doesn't smell so bad. Okay, that, is that most not to me? It might be my clothes, but it don't come out of me. Uh, you definitely get down to some musty, um, earthen smelling. Um, aroma coming towards you as you, as you descend the stairs. <laughs> it's dark. It's completely dark at this point. So you have to decide if you're gonna have if you're gonna light it. I'll use my night vision. That's the wrong kind of. Sense. I am not a elf. Okay. <laughs> That's low light. I will I use. use I will use my night, night vision. I was gonna say really ah. night vision. Erling or not Erling. Erling's only or fucking Quirk. Jordan. Quirk is the only one, what right? do you see? Yeah. Are you taking lead? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. I'm holding onto his back. What do you see? I'm not touching anybody's clothes. <laughs> uh, I guess I roll notice to see what so I see. Might as well put on his, uh, I mean, uh, early. Egon puts on his latex gloves. <laughs> <laughs> First time that latex. Uh, it, it, Bob, the, the stairs descend a solid um, 30 more feet, which is limited your your, your sight. Mm -hmm. You guys figure you're, you are really far down at this point. And you, I assume, assuming you continue down the stair, it does terminate and... Turn to the right. At the I turn on. I turn on a turn flashlight. On. I light my torch. You want to let? Are you gonna let him look around the corner first? I thought you, you couldn't. I, he, you I said you, you you go down another thirty feet. The, the stairway ends in a right hand turn. I thought you said you, you reach his. No. Thirty. Okay. okay. So we're looking at prison cells. Yeah. Aren't damsels usually hidden up in towers? Hmm. She's, a She's a leader of the old worlders. Barring the basement. Dracula upside down. We can, we can search, search the dungeon. dungeon. 
and then Gerwa. You could be heading towards Bedroom for all we know. What? What did you just say? Dracula's Bedroom. Why would it oh. not be on the cloud? Quark, what do you see? He looks around the corner. What does he see? Uh, you notice a, a chamber. There are uh, two coffins. Coffins. <laughs> um, laying laying on the ground in, in the dirt, in the, in the fresh dirt. What did I tell you? Yeah? They are they are closed at the moment. We gotta chop those up. Are there holes? There's the ground for where they... The, 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 the coffin with the lid on it is flush with the ground. Okay. So there's no holes around it like it could go in or, or just come out. Correct. The lid, the, lid, the lid probably opens. But. Gentlemen, we have done this before. One by one, he opens the lids, we stake whatever's inside. Who's got the quick line? So, uh, uh, I guess Erling the dive will open and uh, uh, perhaps... We can, I cannot see. You need to light, you need to torch, no? Uh, light torch in uh, stairwell. And we go into the room. And, uh, and then we'll slowly yeah. move towards uh, yeah. the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're going to light the torch in the stairwell. Okay. Your eyes all slowly adjust to the bright flickering light. Mm -hmm. And slowly go down the stairs. Slowly. Try Since it. you're being so slow and diligent, I will not make you roll for the slippery steps that they are because they're wet and damp. We bend very, down very carefully damp to steps. shoot the arrow. <laughs> damp, damp. Damp steps. <laughs> <laughs> you make it to the bottom. Well, you were you already at the bottom. You knew what was, what was down there. So you see, that there, there's two coffins. The room, the chamber is about thirty foot square. There's there's two in the there's two coffins in there. How many? How there's many a guys? there's at least one entryway. There's at least another um, hole in the wall. Are there any big rocks? No, it's it's just a, it's just fresh dirt. And there's an there's an entryway on the other side as well. That's the reason to side. put a big rock on the other one as we. Just sit on that one. Just <laughs> sit on it. Or let's do three and three. There's only five of us. Four. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You want me to get my hands dirty? Look at these things. I just had these nails done the other day. <laughs> <laughs> we could do two also. Yeah. You want to on one? I can just stand on one. I don't know if that would help you. I'd like 97 pounds. <laughs> I'm working out. I am now 99. I'm no longer that eight pound weekly. He had a big lunch. <laughs> keep, keep drinking the milk, kid. He'll, he'll go back to 97 after after he hits the outhouse. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get shit scared out of after, after we open one of these, it's going to be 97, maybe 96. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever is in there. So, uh, so All right, there's one on your left, one on your right. Who's doing what? Uh, I go to left it's, uh, with Erling. Yeah, Erling went uh, uh, Laszlo on left, and the three of the rest of us on the right. Okay. Four is with us. For uh, safety. Moral support. Moral support, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have stakes out. Wood Was it an agility, agility check to and, uh, open it up and a fighting check to thrust the stake? Is that what it was? Um, these are definitely more powerful than what you fought in the past. Oh, we're fighting something? If you fight we assume it. there's the vampires in the coffins. The vampire brides. This is part of what they came here for. This is a target of opportunity. Alright, so we're assuming they're not empty. I was okay. We're presuming they're not right. empty, yeah. Well, that is in, unless, of course, they're putting the dead of the castle in coffins in a cool place for storage. Honest mistake, but more than likely vampires. If that is the case, then we will stake the empty corpses and we will uh, be done to us for there. Guys, guys, guys quit, quit talking. talking. Let's just kill them. Wait, that, that was my down. <laughs> Slow down. What is uh, the Tablet cover two. cover made out of? Traditional pine box. Uh, um, we, we could put spike straight through pine box. But if, what if we miss the hands? I don't know if there's a... In the, uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's a traditional diamond shape. We, we could make a guess, but some might be taller, some might be shorter. We don't do so we sleep on the stomach. Ah. So it could be sitting upside down, it could be a very slim woman. You've staked the vampire in the groin. Ouch. 
So vampires are very mad at you. Still affected. <laughs> <laughs> I've always said in video games that, that nut shots should count crotch. Shooting somebody in the crotch should count as much as shooting them in the head. <laughs> <laughs> He's not shooting back at you. Anytime soon. Cold shot. Cold shot. Yeah. Honestly, I'm a bigger fan now of poking in the throat. I think that's even worse. I don't think getting shot in the head. Uh, I meant versus getting kicked in the balls. Oh. That's, that's, uh. Yeah, that's a tough one. It's, it's, one it's, involves breathing. I was, one is more painful, <laughs> but one takes a lot longer to recover from. Both involve breathing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, anyway, we, 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 we're we going to, I think we should just pry the box tops off and make sure we stake these. Are the, do the box look like they are hinged? Hinge shot. Uh, you don't see a hinge. A hinge could be on the inside, or they, or they could just be removable lids. Well, if you just flipped it over, that's. Well, they're probably pretty light. Huh? You could just light some on fire. Stuff would have let the gods. Best to be stealthy about this. Do we have any what was that about? You got your soft. The smoke would have let the gods. Best to be stealthy about this. I say we try to uh, shoot the stake through the top, all the top. All the top. All the top. All the top. <laughs> I found a half a lot. Uh, <laughs> so what are you gonna do? Is he perfect me? Uh, so who's got who's best at fighting? fighting? I, I think, think uh, uh, perhaps. Actually, if, you, if, you, if you're gonna try to jam the stake through the wood, that's gonna be a strength check. No, I think, I think we're ripping off the top. Yeah. yeah. How about this? You do you. You do your thing. You, you <coughs> stake. Through, we'll rip the top off ours and, and hammer. We good with that? Uh, uh, Earl, what do you think? I don't care. I think well, you guys have done enough talking, talking and it's time to kill these Let's go, Egon. Let's, let's, let's kill this. You, let's kill this. you yeah, put the top, top off and I'll put a stake in it. I think you and I need to lift the top and Shepard will stake the vampire. Good, that sounds good. Shepard, are you ready? No, this is what. Oh, hang on. Laszlo takes his jacket off, wraps it around his forearm. He's going to open it and put his forearm in his throat. Well, if something comes up to bite, he's going to have his his forearm wrapped in a heavy coat. And somebody might be able to stab through the back into the heart, Erling. If it's it doesn't mean it's Not stab Erling. That's not what I meant at all. <laughs> uh, Laszlo, Laszlo, can, can, I, can I, I just show, show you something? something? And yeah, Erling uh, causes, causes fangs, fangs to, to retract, retract and then come, come back, back out, out super fast. fast. They look, they look extremely, extremely pointy. pointy. I, I think, think I could cut, cut through, through that, that pretty easily. easily. I'm, not I'm not sure, sure that, that coat, coat is really, really going to protect you. I take my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, put it back, back on. on. Whoa, Whoa that, that, if you don't see that. that. Oh, now we're good. I take my boot off. <laughs> I put my hand into the boot. <laughs> <laughs> then wrap the jacket around it. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Benny's down there. <laughs> He's <laughs> behind. Oh, you got it. I take an, an oven mitt from my rucksack. <laughs> <laughs> I have one boot, leather, high leather boot wrapped in heavy high coat. High boots. <laughs> heavy coat, my hand up into the toe. I can't wait for like 10 guards to show up and, and, and Lazlo be running around with a boot at his hand. I'm punching people with my boot. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, that's mildly annoying. <clears throat> Alright, right, so what's the plan here? I'm opening up. Erling has his wooden spike ready to <coughs> de-heart any if it's a vampire. All right, I'll help you open the lid. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, gentlemen, on the count of three, we will tie this, do this simultaneously. Uh, have fun getting bit. Two, three. Uh, uh, so, guys, who are lifting the lids, give me a strength check. Let's see. Oh, strength. <coughs> Perhaps that, that is not a good, good thing. thing for That's course. why I had the two of us together, Bob. Yeah, good, good call. call. Good, good call. call. Why don't you just take that back? <laughs> General the one or two. Here comes the 98 pound weekly. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Four. 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 In a burst of adrenaline, Egon gets an 11 on his <sighs> D4. In, in a fit of wussy caution, <laughs> Lazo takes two bennies to lift it open. <laughs> Arms wrapped up in a boot. What do you expect? He he used two to to <laughs> boot. So you're saying we're, we're in a castle full of vampires and he's down to one benny. benny. We, we haven't even had a fight yet. yet. Oh, so I gained one for being... He earned a benny for being funny with the boot. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay, okay, thank God. God. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Thanks a lot, Ford. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do the flip side just fine. You flip off the lid. And... Um, <laughs> <laughs> the vampire leaps up and chomps into, into Jeff's boot. By the way, your, your box is empty. Oh, okay. <laughs> Screaming, scree- screeching as she does, she leaps up, chomps into, in, into Laszlo's boot. You and, can, and jacket. You can feel the claws, not the, puncturing your skin, but you can feel the sharp points of them through. Pressure, pressure. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. no, just, no, actual teeth. Making it just to your skin, but not beyond. Hmm. Uh, Laszlo, make your roll. Not Laszlo, Erlen. This is when we want to see a, a green. Fighting roll for Erling. Okay, okay, here comes Erling's fighting roll as soon as I can. I have his driving stake roll. Here it is. Fighting, fighting is a D6, D6 trained. trained. He's much, He's much better, better at shooting. Okay. Uh, uh, I got a five. five. Alright, so give me a damage roll. I don't even know his last name. Uh, uh, and his damage is... Uh, is it D, strength, strength plus D6? Well, let's, let's, let's consider that for a second. I mean, he successfully hits. The question is whether he has the accuracy. It's, can I call that a called shot? I kind of call the called shot. So it's a minus two for the called shot. Which means However, it, it is a prone creature, creature that, that is, not that is not trying to dodge. dodge. It's, it's not, not parrying, parrying or anything. anything. Plus one bonus with Jeff there. I will give you. I will give you the plus one gang up bonus with Laszlo. So that makes it a four. So that is a hit. But wait, it's it's a fighting roll, so against parry. You don't want it to be against parry. It's, it's not, not parrying, parrying though. It's, it's lying, lying on the ground. It's, set, it's set up. It's a backstab. Okay. It's effectively a back. But it's not quite the drop. Yeah, it's not quite the drop. We'll give you the, we'll give I'll, you, I'll take that. We'll give you give me the damage roll. Uh, uh, what's what's damage, damage on a wooden, wooden stake, stake, guys? guys. 2d6. <laughs> 2d10. Uh, I was going with d4 plus strength. Yeah. d4, d4 plus, plus strength, strength it is. I'm in two. Oh, so really, really hurt. <laughs> you got me right in okay, the Okay, so oh, the 1d4 four is, is a 1. one. That's not good. No. And then and his, his strength, strength is... Uh, oh, his strength, strength is a d6. d6. You could just do a 1d4 slash roll 1d4 bang plus 1d6 bang. Well, well it, it was, was really, really bad. bad. They, they got, got a 1, one again. again. Well, can you add those together? Do you have an app for that? <laughs> just make sure, <laughs> make sure that it's, it's not, like, faulty. faulty. Nope, no, no, that's, no, that's an, an explosion. That would be a 10. 10. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah he, he got, got two, two ones on his damage for a total of two. Do you want to re-roll? Do you want to spend a Benny on that? Uh, I don't him. think I can spend a Benny on that. You have to Benny the, the attack roll again. I'd have to Benny the attack roll, and he's down to two. Uh, yeah, you better save that. Maybe worth, worth saving, saving, I think. I will try to... Er- Erling jabs a stake. She twists... She's, as she's wrestling with the, her teeth chopped on Laszlo's boot. It's, it's you know, it's, it's a twist and, and turn thing, and he just... The chances of hitting are slim. He, he, he punctures maybe her lung or her upper, her upper shoulder. It's hard to tell where he, is, he does. He misses. He clearly misses the heart. I'm gonna do a strength check to try to hold it down. Okay. And so hold the gonna... spike in place, and have Ford hit it with a hammer or some other. Okay, device. so you're gonna oppose strength her. Got it. <laughs> 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 what is he picking up there? D10? Just. You know, I rolled an 11 on a D4. I rolled a 7. Damn it. <laughs> I think she threw you off. Three. She, she hurls. Uh, no, she doesn't hurl. She, she, she gets up. Wrenches my... Uh, wrenches the boot. Yeah, the whole thing just slides off and it's thrown away. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I guess I'm dealing cards quick here. I didn't expect this to be an encounter. What did you think we were going to uh, do? Not that we... I, I expected to do a little smoother than that. Actually, I didn't expect to have this encounter at all. Oh. <laughs> you know you controlled where we went. <laughs> You're not... not really. There was no actual map that we saw. I... Neither did I have one. So we did. That's what we do. So you guys, by that comment, that means that we actually haven't even got to the, to the, fighting, the fighting bits of the night tonight. I know. You think I have fighting <laughs> bits? You guys think I have a map? Jesus. I, know no, I was trying to say, no, you don't have a map. Right, I'm going to shuffle these quick. <coughs> shuffle. I'm going to add you guys to the map. Uh, where are you? Where are you? There you are. Eon. Erling. Quirk. Laszlo. 
Samuel. 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 Samuel Barker Shepherd. Oh. Lastly, we go back to here. Search on the vampire. Really? You gotta make me pay for one? I mean, like, what the hell is all this shit? Here we go. There you go. You get the classic vampire. It's Bella Lugosi, isn't it? Yep. Ooh. And turn. Show me the damn turn. Show me the damn towel. Throw the towel. He's killing them, damn it. Throw in the damn towel. What were we talking oh, about for 20 minutes <laughs> last time? <laughs> Whoa. Living in America. This is bad. So Shepard gets an ace, but he can't use it. Because he was just a oh. lower low, lower roll. Sucks. I keep it away from them, though. Yeah, they got an ace, too. The, uh, and by the, there's the only stacks. one thing here. Fun with the stacks. F. So are you oh. F at the stacks? Run with the stacks. Oh, run with the stacks. So the, that the, sounds even harder than... than um, the con- the vampire concubine. Um, now, is this Erling's wife? <laughs> the vampire concubine is Erling's wife. Isn't she a vampire concubine? I don't know. We haven't talked earlier about that. Uh, he, she, she is facing um, Laszlo. She takes two swipes at him with her with her clawed fingers. Uh, so her fighting is a D eight. A six and a four. Uh, the six. My pair is a five. So the six hits. You see now, if you had the armor, if you had your boots on. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> One boot on four and a half. The irony is. He is just standing there with a whisky of poop. <laughs> That's got to be tough to Ooh, fight in. 11 damage. That seems like a lot. I uh, rolled a nine. toughness is five. That's a hit and a wound. Hit and a wound. You want to soak that? I think so. Hit and a shake. You have to roll for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's bigger? Uh, yeah, yes. That is bigger. Ten. Soaks that all up. Oh, nice job. Tis but a scratch. <laughs> Come on, you pansy. <laughs> Look at all you got, bitch. <laughs> Her clawed hand comes by. It slaps up against all the shit that's still on him and slides off ineffective. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> you think I took my jacket off? <laughs> and my boot. And and Jeff, by the way, do you do voices when you're... Uh... When you're needing sessions with you for the, the campaign that you do with the kids, um, a little bit, a little bit. Like you know what, we had uh, we we did the um, Lost Minds, mm-hmm. uh, fan fan over like we did with uh, here. I made up little um, cards for each of the characters, and then mm. spoke a little bit uh, for it, each one. The the irony cool. is, I should do the same thing for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Because they would have no him. clue as to wait, he was the farmer from he had the orchard. As I said, former, yeah. I should do the same thing for the guys. <laughs> All right, it is early turn. Uh, let's see, who's the closest? She's, she's right, right next to him, right? You, yeah, you're, you're gonna have all. By the time you get to the end of this pile, you're all gonna get bonuses on her. Yeah, fair enough. Well, then he's gonna swing with his, uh, I guess, the stake. It, well, called shot is gonna be troublesome. So. But that's the only way to take these things down, huh? The cold iron sword that he has does nothing to them. Is that correct? Uh, it does damage, I would think, right? Yeah, you, you can still do... They, they can never... Okay, vampires are invulnerable to normal damage. They may be shaken, but never wounded. Mm. <clears throat> okay. But the, the vampire teeth should be able to wound them. Yes. Mm. yes. Mm. The weakness well, is the magic blessed items and a wound stake to the heart. A call shot and minus four for no extra damage. He's okay. just going to uh, use the tricks at his disposal. Uh, thinking back to what Egon did to him just earlier in the week, he grins. He says, hey, bitch, try some on your own size. His teeth switch out like switchblades, and he tackles her to the ground trying to bite her. I, I appreciate the tackle because you're making her prone. makes it easier for you guys to pin her down the staker. So uh, I'm going to need... A strength versus her agility or strength to stay to stay up. Is that fair? 
Uh, seems reasonable to me. His strength is a D6. Now that I think about this, does, does pulling the teeth out make you have a fatigue? Uh, I don't think there's any downside to using the teeth. Uh, we'll go pull the documentation on the switchblade teeth. It's, uh... It's in here, Yeah, I also have my email. Oh, that's right, it's in your email, right? So, uh, I roll a five, Bob. Come on, Bob. Okay, here comes the roll for strength. On its way. Oh. And Erling rolled a four. All right, you can uh, still you can still take your bite attack. This is just okay. Back here Here's, Here's the, the bite attack. attack. Ooh, oh, he exploded, good. and he got a ten. Uh, any idea what the damage is on the teeth? Yeah, he was good enough to write it down. So His do bite attack is uh. Do twelve. Wait, where'd it go? I just had it. Oh, oh, Vampire Funny. Strength plus D4. But he can actually wound her, or you can't. That's true. But if you guys shake her... Here you go. Seven. And it's a seven total. She mockingly laughs at him. Ah, she seven rips away a bunch of cloth and then pulls it out of his mouth no, he, 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 he takes a big hunk out of her, out of her arm. Ah, ripping okay. and gnashing, but he doesn't get a, a, a good bite in it. He just kind of breaks the skin... A lot of skin, not a lot of muscle. And... Yes. Just, just a question. question. The fighting roll was a 10. Was, was that, that a hit with a raise? That is against a repair? Um, uh, that is a hit with a raise. So yeah, you add a d6 in there. Thank you. Let me do that. Maybe we'll get a little more on her. Uh, one. Oh! So, oh. Damage is an eight. <laughs> Dude, she's the toughest of nine. Ah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Shite, sir. I'm going to give you this one. I'm going to give you this one because there's plenty of words tonight. Um, Erling leaps at her and, and, and gives a vampire some, some fair play using his teeth to rip out her throat. Oh. This is going right. She, okay. Um, you, you can actually uh, a strike to the head or neck that causes four or more wounds in a single blow. Regardless, weapon also destroys the monster. Um, four or more wounds. Holy shit. So basically, he decapitates her with his teeth. Yes. I'm giving her in the, the benefit of right now for using his teeth. Mike, you would think that was really awesome? Yes. That is really awesome. I'm sure he, he'd be he very didn't quite jump on the back of a dragon, but... <laughs> yes. <laughs> he jumps on the back of the vampire. Yeah. And rips out her throat. As you're finishing the battle, you hear boots coming down the stairway you just came down. We run to the corners of the room. There, well, there's a staircase. There, there is another, another, another passage on his, uh, at, the, uh, at the opposite side of the room. They'll never think we went in there. So. Very <laughs> <laughs> oh, like perfect we're place to hide. Lazlo still missing a boot. The whole point is Lazlo missing a boot. <laughs> I grab my boot and run. <laughs> See, he's gonna be like John McClane. <laughs> I grab my boot and jacket and run up the, up the other stairs. We should hide in the coffins. It's there's five of us in two coffins. <laughs> hey. It's five and a half. Five people who fight, who we care about, in two coffins. I go and grab my boot and jacket around right the saying. stairs. You, you care about Shepard, don't you? The like opposing that. stairs. <laughs> Four yells, this way! And you run to the, to the, other, the other passageway. Um, it's actually a hallway, but there is a, a door. So as you, as you guys hustle through the door, Ford closes the door behind you. Um, there is no way to lock it. Bar. Let's just keep running. Is that a bucket over the top of it? Mop. Fucking rocks. Come on, this is think think D and D here. What would you do? What, what Pinion. Tea time. Tea time. Tea time. Tea time. The tea times are, are mountains. Uh, I like the, I like you, have, you, have, you have a stake in your hand. I'll stake the, the door, door shut. And <clears throat> stake them. I think these are just people. They're thralls. They don't need to say. Hey, Joel, are you suggesting that we wait until they open the door and then we prepare a delicious 1980s meal of steakum sandwiches for them? It's a, it's really a hallway. Cheese, <laughs> it's a hallway. It's really a one-person corridor you're in, so it's going to be. All right, we're trying to use a steak to jam uh, your. Pick, pick I'll do my con strength? Con construction roll. 
strength because you're just trying to jam the snake in the door. We'll wedge the door shut with brute strength and a snake. Iron spikes. Knowledge, smarts. I don't know. Um, there is one other. We have an unlimited number of snakes, right? Eh. There's another vampire hanging around and that we know of. Uh, actually, actually uh, Mike, Mike has, has on his character sheet that he has three wooden sticks. Wow, Bob just got so much louder. Yeah. I uh, took out the headphones for a second. Oh. Um, okay, just give me a strength check just to see if you can embed it into, if you can wedge it in there well. Give it a wedgie. Five. Five. Do you wish to dictate? He jams it right into the corner, ju just on the flat side. Jams it diagonally in, so that any pressure pushing on it will just make it tighter. Oh, so the door. basically, you, you shoved a door stop under the door. Yeah, yeah, it's not a good answer. <laughs> Whatever works, man. That's what I pictured. Uh, the door stop. Yeah, thank you. So they start banging on the door. There's some some crumble. There's some yelling about dim old English. Who's that? Uh, Hope <laughs> that we're and we're in Hungary. Uh, Romania. It's a bad fight, Robert. I'm with you. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Tights. Prince of Thieves. Yeah, he said that. I remember that part. <laughs> sure All right, so you, you find yourself in a in a dark hallway. Um, Ford was holding a torch, so you can see. It it goes on and it slowly seems to slope upward. Where does this hallway go? <laughs> goes up. Uh, Egon will scout ahead using his ability to see in the dark, just to get a glimpse, and then he'll come back and report. All right, the uh, it, it goes up for quite a ways. It doubles back on itself once or twice, um, and it comes out on a. Uh, in the chapel. No, it, it, you you think you're still in, in 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 the castle. You're definitely higher than you were before. Uh, there, you, you come out of a secret passage into a lit hallway because you know that's how it works. Thank you, John. Don't worry. Uh, you can you come out from behind a statue. It's dry, It's val. It's Vlad. Statue of it's a lad's witch. dad. It's lad's dad. Lad's dad. Yes. It's not a witch with a hump. No. <laughs> Who's Vlad? Vlad the Impaler. Vlad the Impaler. Vlad the Impaler. Dracula. Vlad Dracula. Yeah. Okay. Joel knows every piece of trivia about every president of the United States, but Vlad the Impaler was not on his radar. Wow. So you're in a hallway. It's, Thank you. It's lit. It. Um, you definitely think you're at least if one, if not two levels higher than you were before. You still don't. There's still no windows. Um, you're definitely below ground, or at least in the part of the castle without windows that are that's still part way up. There was not a lot of uh, lower windows on the picture that he showed us. This is true. You don't want invaders to just climb in a window. Arrow slits. We have left or right. Right. Left worked last time. Left. Always, left. always go left. Always go left. All right. Except you, for when you're going right. Just pick one instead. Uh, you, give me a stealth. You guys going stealthy? Of course we are. So give me a stealthy check. Stealthy two. Eight. 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 Nine. You two are over Six. there? Six. Untrained. Boy, you're doing well with the unframed stealth rolls. I know, my deep oh, are on fire tonight. Erling, not so good. Erling, not so good. Oh, but on average, we could be... Cork did not so good either. Oh, yeah, wow. Miss. Does that two, mean two and a three, respectively. <laughs> What's interesting... Oh, uh, actually, Erling, he is a thief, so he gets an inherent plus two on stealth. So that two becomes a four for Erling. Oh, so he just made it. Mm-hmm. Early got a plus four, or got a uh, four total. Remember you had two and you always did lower, that's your oh. There's two in the Castle Dracula. Yeah, that's how I made two go on the turn order. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's not an indication of where we are, they're just... Both of you are going to be in the cemetery, so just don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you guys make, make the rounds, you're, you're, you're pretty sneaky. You get oh, the... Cork, not so good. Stealthy. Cork, not so good. But he's making up for it with his dark vision and trying to later. Guys, I'm right behind you. <laughs> you stumble on um, a guard post for the dungeons. There's uh, three Cossacks. They see you before you can react. It's a straight-up uh, 
fisticuffs. Throw down. Throw down. Melee. I, I put my boot on. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I take your boot to beat a Cossack with. That is that is my turn. I haven't <laughs> that said so before. I, I, I'm going to assume you put your boot on before that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so there's three there's three Cossacks. Um, oh, Shepard with the Joker. Yes. Oh, very That'd nice. Cool if he could use it. He, that he could, that, that's the Too bad he, he gets seven of hearts. <laughs> no, that's the only time he's allowed to go first when he gets the Joker. So there's seven. There's uh, three Cossacks. If you do a, a double attack, you can attack both of them. I thought it was three. Well, two of them. The double wild attack. Supernatural creatures? No. no. Not that my book. They qualify as vampires? No. They're just Russians. They're dirty, dirty Russians. And really, what Russians aren't? <laughs> so. right, Don't tell Max I said that. <laughs> I may see him soon. He'll um, go, he'll take Cossack number one. Cossack. 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 With the uh, Kassack. with the plus two, if you do a multi action penalty, you can Kassack. attack two of them at the same. You can attack two of them, uh, and have no no penalty. Uh, penalty essentially, I, I thought I would um, attack one with a wild attack. That could work, but that works. Yeah, I, I think that you that well that'll give you a plus four on your attack because you have the Joker, which already gives you plus two. Yeah, isn't that great? That it is. But if you split it among two, you could miss two things instead of one. <laughs> <laughs> or he could do crazy three. damage to two things and kill two things in yeah. one shot. Because if you do hit them, you get not going to kill two damage roll. Two with one shot. I'll, I'll I'd rather kill one one with one shot. Okay. Or one with two. Okay. Shots. Sure, sure enough. enough. So he will do that. All right, with his baton, of course. <clears throat> Fighting roll. No. All right. Come on, Elizabeth. Everybody watching? We're all staring at you. Oh. <laughs> well, that two becomes a f six. Yeah. No, I'm gonna use a Benny. Well, does a six hit? Against a parry of seven? No, it doesn't. Ugh. Uh, they're, they're not, not supernatural. Does he have any traits that, uh, edges that would help him right now? He has that. <laughs> the El no, the Elon. Well, now spend a Benny on a trait roll. Hmm. Now, now, you're, uh, now you're at a plus roll. six. Uh, uh Joel, the skills are traits as well. Right, their so abilities, uh, their, uh, your, your dex and strength plus skills. skills are your traits. So I get plus two. Plus, plus two four. or plus two. Plus four, plus two, plus three. Four, plus two. I think the 11 Nine. hits. Mm. Four, for the race. Two. Hits for the race. So. He bashed him with his baton. So, which is a, we, a, we call that a strength, D4. Strength, strength plus D4. Plus an extra D6 for damage. Because you, you hit with a race. What, what, strength, what's your strength die? Six. So you roll an additional d6 as well. That has a big one. Oh. That's as good so. as the other two dice combined. So that's plus two? Uh, plus two for the wild attack, plus two for the joker. Is wild attack plus two to damage? Yeah, it is. Okay, so yeah, that plus four. So four. Well, I'll let you announce it to your roll. <laughs> so that's five plus two plus two. You tell me. <laughs> Five plus two plus. What's this? Five. What's this? Two. What's this? Three. Add it together. Damage you add together. Ten. Plus, plus two. Plus two. Fourteen. Fourteen. I guess the toughness of eight. What do you do for a living? <laughs> <laughs> he, I add things. <laughs> <laughs> he uses complex rules <clears throat> to add things. That's true. These, <laughs> these rules are complex. These are, I was just going to say, these rules are far too simple. Yeah. At Savage Worlds, tax code. So jumping with both feet forward, lifts, lifts the baton high up in the air, and like a bloody drunken bloke, swings and belts him right across the chops and the chin. Nice. Twisting wow. the head rapidly to one side, snapping the neck. You like, hear the jaw actually shatter when you hit it. It's like a cat. 
and the neck snaps, and the body goes limp. And Cossack 3 is no more. Oh. He's shuffled Ooh. off the mortal coil. Erling. <laughs> yeah, top that, Erling. <laughs> uh, Erling's hand goes to his pistol, but then he worries it's going to draw attention. So he thinks better of it and draws his sword and attacks the uh, Cossack number 2. Uh, straight fighting roll. Actually, there's two Cossacks. He's going to do wild attack as well. And you crossed off Cossack number three. You know I told you number one, I was attacking number one. Does it really matter? And he uh, explodes and gets a 10 on his roll with the sword. So is that a hit with a rage? It is not a, it have a pair but of you have, seven. You have a plus two for your wild attack as well, right? Uh, I already added it into the roll. Okay. Um, so so no, it's just seven. strength d6 then, I think. Since they have a pair of seven, Bob, no. And yep, got it. No, uh, no bonus there. Here's the roll. Oh. One d6, bang, plus one d6, bang. Uh, five plus one, six total damage. Oh, but he's a uh, wild attack, so add two to that. It's eight total damage. Against the toughness of eight shakes that the Cossack is shaking. He's got the three. Ooh, just barely. The Cossack. Oh, okay. Cossacks. Cossack two is shaken, but not stirred. Not stirred. Laszlo. I guess they attack the guy that's closest to me. One, one, is, one is unharmed, two is shaken. Well, if you attack the shaken one, you get a plus one to attack, and any damage will kill him. He thinks that's a good idea. All right. He shakes his head yes. I'm going to use my cold iron sword. It's, it's, it's like when he DMs for time. <laughs> We're just going to leave these. That's a strength? <laughs> no, you're rolling a fighting ball. You, 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 we've been playing this game for five years. <laughs> it's a trade ball. <laughs> what did he roll? Oh, two ones. I think you stabbed yourself. Or you might have stabbed early. You got yourself a Benny there, right? Can yeah, I, can he's I got heal them he, somehow? He shook himself. <laughs> can he heal them somehow? Can I heal the Cossack, co Cossack somehow with my roll? He sees you trip and laughs and he's no longer shaking. You actually have a magic weapon, don't you? I was trying to hold the sword with my boot in here. <laughs> Hope we all was around laughing at you. Desperately, <laughs> desperately working another Benny by pulling out the boot joke again. Go, go back to what works. <laughs> Roll me a d6, please. Oh, boy. Three. <laughs> Middle of the road. All right, now roll me a... <laughs> Erling, what's your, what's your parry? <laughs> uh, his parry is, I think, a six. Let me just confirm that. Actually, no, uh, it's going to be a... Give me an agility roll. Give me an agility roll for Erling. All right, agility roll first. Here it comes. Oh, but he's a uh, he's an acrobat, so he gets plus two on his agility checks. So that five becomes a seven. So the sword flashes by, or like bends back, kind of in a, in a limbo a pose. A neo neo action. Yeah, neo action. The sword Ooh. just slices by over. I, I wasn't trying to hit you. <laughs> you guys, stop fooling around. <laughs> Look who's doing all the work here. Wow, that Shh. sucks. Oh, that's kind of like every battle. Shepard just waltzes in and starts bashing skulls. Quir Hmm. Um, I don't think this is a time for using mental powers when one can use one's muscle. So he's going to uh, draw his sword and fight as well. His rapier or his sword? Uh, his rapier. Uh, he'll do wild attack. What the heck? It's going to hurt once you guys all get attacked. It is. But it paid off for Quirk. He exploded and ended up with a 12 on his fight. Which I one hit with a raise. There? Mm -hmm. Bob, you have had an amazing number of raids and reds tonight. I know, right? <laughs> it's really incredible. <clears throat> There's no in between. The rapier is strength plus d8. It also adds one to your parry. So my son had an advantage. He rolled 2d20, so I let him roll four uh, damage dice. Oh, he rolled 2d20? Nice. Double the damage is a 15, and then the 2 for wild attack makes it 17 damage. Like, were you it's like one striking hand. a shaken one or the unshaken one? Uh, I thought he was going to attack the shaken one because that would have been focused fire, unfortunately. Right, so you obliterate the shaken one. If you, if you want to describe it, feel free. Uh, he pulls out his rapier with a flourish. He does 
And suddenly a Q appears in the man's shirt. And then <laughs> in the center of the Q, he lunges forward and pierces him through the heart. And the man crumbles to the ground. It's the only way to be sure. Through the heart. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're out of, over to nukes, yeah. Oh, you like vampires? I'll show you vampires. All right, so the, uh, the one the Cossack heart. that's left um, runs away. Since we just bashed his friends. He... <coughs> Josh, keep in mind the defenses for both uh, Erling, Quirk, and Barker, or Shepard, rather, are all at minus two because they wild attacked. Yes. Um, also, this guy, I think, is looking at the fact that he's outnumbered five to one. Yes, he, uh, but he is a, a thrall as well. But being a little more um, drilled than a typical thrall, he um, uses his weapon to bang the drum, which is an alarm, signaling other people that there's a problem. Imagine that. One of my, one of my monsters did something intelligent. Well, I will try and silence him before he can bang the drum for, drum for very long. He's going to bang on his drum. I had to figure out what the alarm was. He doesn't want to go to work, huh? I, I had to figure out what the alarm would be. Anyone? Anyone? Mm -hmm. uh, bang on his drum all day. No, I know. Okay. I got it. <laughs> so I just want to make sure I'm understanding. They're walking around with muskets and billy clubs and then like a drum strapped around them? That's that's what they got going no, on? A, there's a drum mounted there. Oh, oh, okay. It's a guard, it's a, it was a guard post. Oh, okay. I have a sword. I don't know what it means. I don't remember what it is. It's lazy. Sword D. Okay. Well, I got to hit him first by fighting. Let me bust out my D4. Wild attack, my friend. Give yourself uh, plus sure. two. Wild attack. You're just wild, man. Three, five. Mm -hmm. You're not going to uh, That is not going to hit. I don't know. Yeah, I got four bennies. Let's try this. Again. <laughs> oh. I'm not doing any more than one. I get a plus two for my Elan. Oh, that, then now you're talking. Oh, explode. Oh, jeez. Explode, explode again. Eight. Explode. Ten. Fourteen. Fourteen hits for the raise. All right. So that's a D8 and a D6 and a D4 for my strength. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Okay, so four. Ten. Eleven. Thirteen. Wow, plus two made all the difference in the world. Oh yeah? Well yeah, because it is the toughest of eight. Nice. So the twelve would have killed. The twelve you knew the twelve, you see made it. Excellent. So the wild attack paid off. Thank you, Bob. I think this <laughs> well would be my first melee kill. So you wanna describe his awkwardness in melee with his <laughs> wild attack? <laughs> so so early uh <clears throat> Egon Brown's a doctor. Um, he runs towards, he draws his sword very clumsily, runs towards the man who's, who's uh, banging on the drum. As he approaches him, he trips, and as he falls, he accidentally stabs the man in the kidney. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Egan, well done. And knocking him off the drum and, and you know, finishing him off with a, a quick blow afterwards. Is someone out there? Can they? Can you help me? You stumbled on the dungeon. Oh, I thought this was one of the guards. Right? No. Well, <laughs> guys, guys, I'm still alive. I I was just attacked, guys. <laughs> I was. My kidney's damaged. I'm very badly burned. It really hurts, guys. Is somebody out there? Shh. It's a female voice. Quiet. Oh. Oh, that's a female voice. But yeah, because otherwise it just comes out as four. I don't know why that is. <laughs> because. Cause I yes, voice. where are you? I'm in the oh. third cell. Where's the door? Wait, do we see oh. the door? Oh. Yes, you, you open the, the door. You, you, open the door. You, you can see. You have you 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 pillage the keys from the guard. You unlock the, the. Anything else on the guard? While while they're checking the. Nothing. You, nothing uh, terribly exciting. Heavy coat, uh, rifle, bullets, saber. Boots. No, uh, yeah, boots. <laughs> Stinks. Need a boot. Uh, they're, they're wearing uniforms, uniforms, aren't they? Guard uniforms. Uh, yes, they're they're James. wearing blood covered uniforms. Yeah, with big holes in them. <laughs> Let's you could have we could do the uh, three guards take the other two people a prisoner. Okay, no, except as Adam said, you've 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 killed them all with swords. Uh, but then again, we're thralls to vampires, so eh, what's a little blood? 
They might have just been helping with dinner tonight. I got his mind silly in the face. You, you broke his head. <laughs> Clapped him on the jaw and snapped his neck. His clothes are still good. Okay, there's one coat that's still good. Uh, Cork could be wearing the guard's uniform that has the big Q in it with the hole in the center. <laughs> <laughs> you, you find the keys to the, um, to, the, to the door to the cells. You also find the key to the cell inside this Terra LaGrange. Uh, pretty badly beaten. No obvious bite marks. Though you bitten? No. No, he has the. He must break you if he wants to. If you're if you're to be his bride, he must break your will before he bites you. Oh. Hey, Alan, do you think he broke your wife's uh, will before he bit her? Oh <laughs> boy, not early as quirk. I think early would say, "Shut up, Dick." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Do, do you think? Oh he wait. Broke your... <laughs> this is quirk, right? Yeah, I, I messed up. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I'll never forgive them. Ever. I, I, I'm out of quips. You're out of quips? Okay. We gotta get out of here. Uh, we know a way out. We may have to fight to have the castle guards to get there, but it may not be pleasant. Uh, do you know a better way out isn't going through the sewers? The, the courtyard is, is only a, one level above. Maybe we can sneak through there to the stables. Shepard's gonna start dragging the dead totally bodies into the cells horse. in the meantime. Uh, Quirk goes over to her and says, I'm glad you're all right. And he puts his hand on her shoulder earnestly. But what he's really doing is he's probing her mind. The question that he's asking is, has her mind been modified uh, since she's been imprisoned by anyone of the bad guys? Are you okay with that, Josh? Yeah. I was okay. I don't want to get all lawyerly, so maybe just has her mind been modified? Does she make a, a, a post check or no? Uh, I think she. I have to. Oh, shoot. She's Let me not just look willing. at power. No, she's not willing. Uh, hang on a second. I have it written down here. Speak into the room. Prisons see the three of them there. They won't bother them. But I had it somewhere. What was the name of the power again? Uh, three okay. minds, just, right? roll, just roll. Is that your okay. That's broken. You got uh, here's here. the roll right there. A ten. Yeah, you, she seems um, unaffected, un unchanged. I think it isn't a post mortemist check though. Marks. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, and just, what was it? Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> I know who I am. <laughs> oh, so she would know this too, potentially. Uh, they know that their mind has been uh, probed. Uh, they, I don't know if they know where it came from, but they know somebody has just tried to get into their mind. Well, she is the leader of the old worlders, so. I've spent the past four days keeping somebody out. Keep your, mental, keep your mental toys to yourself. Very good. Just being cautious, miss. You know how it is. I can respect that. Let's get you she, out of she here. She takes a saber and a rifle. Oh, good. I hate it when women are just like, they're fighting and there's a gun right there that I won't touch. Um, she's outranked only by the Harkers in that organization. And Sirius Chapel, who you haven't met yet. Where's the way out? Yeah, right. <laughs> Alright, so you're heading, you're going to try to hang that through the um, courtyard. Through the courtyard? So but can we just go out the way we came? That's, you mean through the, all those guards who, through that door that we jammed shut? Oh, that, oh, that, yeah, okay. Yeah, that, no? <laughs> no <I'm just> <laughs> all right, give me a stealth check. Jeff is so stealthy, he can fall asleep and nobody notices. <laughs> oh, I noticed him. Tara makes it. Uh, three. Ooh. Jeff, stealth check. <laughs> I ain't gonna work with him. Uh, true. Ooh. Quark just disappears in the darkness. I know, it got a 15. And Erling did worst possible roll and got a 5. <laughs> Erling can, ever, can never not be stealthy. I know, right? <laughs> I got 9. 9? Jeez. So now, I'm try, trying to understand well, Erling's roll here. So he got a 1 and a 3, Bob? Is that what he got? Uh, he is a thief, so he gets a static plus 2 on stealth checks. So it is true, he rolled 2 die, 
Uh, one of the die, he rolled a one. The other one, he rolled a three. Okay. And so he takes the higher of the two, which is the three, and then adds the static plus two, and that gives him his five. Hmm. All right. Uh, Erling? No. What, uh, Egon. Egon, not so stealthy. You got not so stealthy. All right. So as you guys are, is that the guy who's trying to lift the? I think it's just the place where he bought the kielbasa. Yeah. And that's on me, Mark. Anyway, so like yeah, stuck. Egon was. Uh, you guys, you guys make it to the. Oh, Egon, Egon, we got a three. Yes. Okay. You, you you make it to the, um. To the courtyard, Egon, where you got spotted by a, a guy on the wall. Um. Guards begin rushing in. You're getting shot out from the top of the wall. That's not good. Run for the stables. You're, 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 you're cut off from the stable. I mean, you're, you're, oh. you're, you're, you're basically pinned down. Oh. Hmm. Remember when we talked about the TPK? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to give... Uh, they killed their whole party. I have two different creatures here. One represents the shooters. One represents the melee. And uh, so the one with the sword represents the melee, and the one with the mace represents the melee. The guy with the shield represents the melee. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I know. <laughs> Jeff's asleep and he's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Suit. Okay. Um, they're all Cossacks for the time being. Cossacks. Yes, and um, Quirk, you <laughs> notice at least four Cossacks um, coming towards you guys in melee range, and at least four more up on the walls shooting at you. The guys on the walls are spaced out. Um, but look at where the guys on the ground are, come, are coming towards you as a, as a group. Quirk goes first. Uh, he, he points, points and pulls up the number four, uh, having worked with these guys for some time now. Uh, they they should know. So how many total people are we looking at then? So you're you're looking at four up on the walls. So they're probably out of your. They may be out of your range. They're spread mm -hmm. out on the walls, but there are four melee guys running toward you, fairly tightly grouped. So you should be able to eat. They're an easy target for you if you wanted to use some of your other group powers. Yeah, I think it's it's probably time. The only question is telekinesis, or are they, are they tightly grouped together, pretty much like shoulder to shoulder? Uh, do they fit in a medium blast if I try to entangle them? They would fit in a medium blast. All right, we'll go with the old faithful. We'll uh, try to see if we can entangle them with uh, psychic power. So he holds his hand to his temple, frowns, and then with the other finger, he holds it out all dramatic-like, and uh, we roll for mental powers. Here we go. So he got a three. <laughs> uh, so that is not, that's a failure. But uh, what the heck? I still have three Bettys, so I'll use one of those Bettys. Bob now has three. Try it again. Uh, Erling and uh, Quirk now have two Bettys. Uh, you have three Bettys, Bob. You start more because you you, you, you're using the accent. Oh, that's awfully nice of you. And I have a three again. So <laughs> we'll, we'll try one more time. There goes one more Benny. Uh, now I'm down to two Bettys and tied with Erling. And uh, still a pretty bad roll, but this time it is a six. So we're so trying an entangle uh, on the box, four guards. Which I thought was the lowest you could get. One of his die is the lowest. One of his right. die rolled the one, but I see. the other one obviously rolled higher. So what am I opposing this with, Bob? Uh, I think it is opposed strength, actually. Hang on. Uh, oh, wait. That's telekinesis. Where is entangle? Get that, There's a one and a six. Here it is. Oh, the rules of entangle. It's uh, opposed by the target's agility. So, it, and because he's got the killer instinct edge, that six is actually an eight for the purposes of an opposed roll. All right. I bet yes. How many times you dropped one of your minis to four? Okay, none of them succeed in resisting your eight. Is uh is the eight uh a raise for any of them based on those rolls? Uh two of them, yes. Two okay, them so the people who uh have uh just a regular success against, so two of them are partially restrained, uh they now suffer minus two to pace 
and any skills linked to agility and strength, which is shooting and fighting. And then the two people who are fully restrained, they cannot move any longer, and they can't use any skills that are linked to agility and strength. So no fighting or shooting. Um, and every round, yeah, and every round uh, they can make a strength or agility roll with a, uh, a four difficulty to break free. Um, and just keep in mind, if you are fully uh, stuck like that because you can't use any skills related to strength, that means your fighting is the lowest possible, which means your parry is now going to be equal to uh, a two, I think. Yeah. All right. So uh, moving on then, uh, Erling. So, so there is no one in melee range at this point. Mm -hmm. Those guys are probably about, uh, I'll give you 10 or 15 feet away. And then there are the guys on the walls who are actively shooting at you. There are okay. four, you know that there are more guys on guard duty, so you let you know that there will be more guys shooting at you Five. within the turn. Starling is going to start working on the people on the wall, uh, and he is pretty good with shooting. Um, he's actually going to take a double attack penalty to try to shoot two different targets. Well, because his aim automatically. Yeah, he, automatically. he has not moved this turn. That's right. So he's not moved. He's got aim that automatically kicks in, so... Here's the first of his two. He'll attack, uh, I don't know, your, your choice, Josh? Uh, they're just listed on the papers. So you okay. Two, three, four. Three, four. So he has a minus two, and then he's got a plus two, so it all just washes out. Here's the first roll. It is a five, which I think with a baseline four to hit for shooting is a hit. Yes. Do you want to roll damage on that or go to the second shot first? Let's go to the second shot first. Okay. Second roll is a six, also a hit. They're both hits, so damage rolls. Damage rolls on his his pistol is two d six, and I assume those are those are not raises. Okay, so one two d six. Then here's the first guy. He rolled an eight. All right, so on a tie for toughness, the shake the, the shake. Right? So he shakes the first guy. And then the second guy, not as well. He rolled a three. Yeah, the bullet impacts the um, rampart, sh showering dust into the air. And then also, he's got to move. He will. Uh, he will take cover. Yeah, there's not a ton of cover. I'll give you guys each a, a plus one to your, um, or minus one, I should say, for the shooters. Okay. But there's not a ton of cover to be had. And once you get gotcha. to melee, well, then we'll have to see what happens. Uh, Shepard, mm -hmm. you can act because you have two in a row. Use my second card. Okay. Good job. All right. Well, he he takes his pistol out, takes aim for one of the shooters up there. Okay. Are you shooting the shaken one or one of the other ones? One of the other ones. No, I guess maybe I better shoot one. Of the, I better shoot the shaken one. Focus fire is always better. Hey, what's Bob, Bob, what's the name of that uh, edge that Mike has? Uh, Marksman. Marksman. Thank you. You looking that one up for you, Adam? Yeah, something like that. Which I know it has to do with moving. This means you have the aim maneuver all, on all the time. Nah, I don't think it's on all you the time. It. That is a hit with a raise. Oh. Uh, it's a big it's damage. 2d6. Alright, plus another d6 for the raise. Okay, it says, just so you know, Bob, it says that if... I'll, I'll get after this, I'm sorry. 2, 3, 4. Nine, nine times against the guy who was shaken, uh, inflicts another wound, and as in classic action movie style, he falls off the wall. With his death. Flips once to his death. And and on the way, I can't do it. Oh, okay. so, so now oh, I can take, I, I now I can take my specific. cover. Wahoo hooey, one. Specific. What little cover there is. All right. All right. Uh, the melee guys. Uh, no, yeah, the shield guys are the melee guys. Oh, Mike's so what's the wrong when I so, shoot somebody? Hold on. As he falls off the wall, it sounds a little like this. Come on. Oh! Don't. You're silent. All right. I'm trying to get it to play. Ah, uh, uh, it's loading again. All right, forget it. I, I should take a Benny away from you for that. I'll get it for the next one. It, it would have been really good. So this is your tech guy. <laughs> Sorry, the internet here sucks. There's one more question. Um, all right, Bob. So these four guys that are par are paralyzed from you right now, they make an opposed. Yeah, I'll just fill my pipe. Oh, for Christ's sake! 
Fuck it. Is that Davy Crockett? Finally! <laughs> Phil Humphrey? Yeah. You lost me. <laughs> it's in all the freaking... I know. I yeah, it's the, the Wilhelm scream, right? <laughs> so Bob, I'm making it opposed to agility so or strength roll. Uh, at the start of their turn, Which was it? Best. Which is wait, was it the start of their turn or the start of the next turn? Just to confirm. Probably the next turn. Logical sets today. Each each following round, they may make that check. Right, so so they're stuck with the effects this round, but the following round they can make right, that so check. So the, the two guys that are partially restrained, can they shoot or no? Yeah, uh, they have a minus two to any agility or strength checks, and they can even move. They just have minus two to pace. Uh, I don't think they're going to be close enough to get you then, so I'm going to use their, their rifles to shoot you guys. Uh, just in, Bob, going back to Marksman, mm. uh, if you do not move in a turn, you may fire as if you took the aim maneuver. Okay. So if Mike was not able to move last round. Oh, he couldn't, he couldn't find, find cover. cover. He had to stand still. Okay, that works then. Yeah, that, I didn't realize that though. I, I well, I did, but I forgot. That's a good clarification. Thanks, Adam. Both of them choose to shoot at Laszlo because that's hmm. what I rolled. <laughs> um, shooting uh, is his parry is uh, a five, which does nothing roll. against this. But they are at a minus two. It's untrained, isn't it? Oh, a five and a three. You saved him. Mm. So both of uh. Actually, this gonna, is my power. You gonna reroll one of them? Or two? I'm gonna reroll one of them. You gonna reroll that fiver? Try and get it up a little higher. No, I'm gonna roll a different die altogether. Oh. Twenty. That's equal. a zero. <laughs> Bob saved you. Thanks, Bob. Two, sh two shots ring by your head, both missing. <laughs> Um, next up is Dr. Egon. Uh, Egon will unshoulder his rifle and uh, take aim, just point his gun at, not actually aim, at uh, one of the guys on the wall. This is who I'm last then. Yeah, you want to last? Drag it up. You can drag it down. Yeah, it misses. <laughs> All that work and he misses. Well, even with the, even with the aim? Jeez. I didn't actually aim. I was just trying to do some flavor. Not oh, I see. All right. Mechanics. Uh, three guys on the wall. Ooh. <sighs> Two at, um, Quirk. Six is a reroll. And one at Erling. Shot at Erling. Uh, well, one of those guys was shaken. shaken. Did they get rid of their shaking? No, that was one of you guys killed. Oh, oh, right, right. 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 That's right. Hey, sorry, sorry. Two, two of those guys can't do anything, right? No, these are the guys on the wall that are not. And the ones on the wall. Oh, okay. So against Erling, it is a nine. That's a hit with a raise. That's a hit, That's with, a hit raise. with a raise, for sure. 2d8 plus 1d6, so there's a rifle. Yes. A lot of ones? No. 15. Ooh. Okay, 15 damage. To Erling. Well, he's going to start trying to soak. He's got two bennies left, so he's going to lose a benny trying to soak. What's his toughness? His toughness is a seven. So that soak is vigor, right? Okay, so here we go. He rolled a five. Soak's one, right? Soak's one. So that's one. Does he waste a benny and try to stop that additional one? He's got another attack coming up, right? No. Quirk has two. Uh, I guess he'll he'll take the one wound. All right, Quirk. A two and a five. Five is gonna hit. I assume the two misses, but the five is a hit. Unless you want to use a Benny and reroll the two. No, I think I'm gonna keep it. Okay. Eight damage. Toughness is a six, so that will shake him. Remember, Bob, we get a plus. Two to shaking because I have inspire. Oh. I think uh, I don't want to use the Benny though because I'm down to two. I can use it for free at the start of my next turn. Yeah, that's correct. So it might, and the turns are coming up. So yeah, save the Benny. And you can spend a Benny at any time. Oh, that's true too. Oh, good point. Okay, so back to uh, Lazo. Um, 
there are there are four guards on the ground. They are coming to engage you in melee. They are um, partially restrained or fully restrained based on Bob's bet rolls. There are at least three guards on the wall shooting at you. Probably more on the way. Is there an out? There is not an out right now. I'm gonna go for the ones that are restrained. You that is a shooting roll. Shooting, I'm not close enough to do a sword. If you want to go out there, I'll shoot. Uh, they, they are super easy to hit <clears throat> to hit right now. Their parry is a two. Well, that, that's hit. that's irrelevant in uh, range. No, my point is that melee is like you could go right up in melee and wild attack. You could probably take you know two if, out. If you, went, if you went out there and attack them, you'd probably be in the midst of them. They probably wouldn't shoot you. You may actually protect yourself until you kill the last one. Excuse me. There's no protection from that, though. Hi, let's roll the dice. Well, All right. What you doing? Here, I'm gonna go wild attack. You're gonna do wild attack, multi attack. Yeah. Try and hit two of them. Wild yeah. Multi attack. Parry a two. The two. There's what two two with parry of two and two that have normal parry. Two fully restrained, mm -hmm. two partially restrained. Which ones are you going after? Actually, Actually even, even the partially restrained, restrained, their parry is reduced because their fighting is reduced by two as well. Go for the fully restrained. Just two fully okay. restrained. Agree. The fighting. So they have a parry of two, Bob. They have a period two. Yeah, hit him. Three and three. Oh. That's a hit. So that's hit for both of them then? Is that. It is. Sadly, if you'd rolled higher, you might have gotten some extra damage, but that is a hit. You have to roll another fighting roll, fighting attack. That's. For for one fighting attack for the other? You only get your wild die once, though. No, no wild die. Oh, I thought that was two rolls. Seven. So the both rolls hit. One of them uh, raise. One's a raise. Yes, one's a raise. So that would be damage. Two d six. Your sword is your sword is a d six. It's probably I think we had Adam's roll roll because it's a d eight plus strength. That's what you told me to roll. I may be wrong. Seven. And Jeff, I have good news for you. You did a wild attack, so add two to that. Oh, that's right. Nine good damage. Good thing you did because now he's shaking. And the other one plus another d six because you hit a hit, 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 hit one with a raise. Oh shit! Oh shit! Twenty-seven. Twenty-five plus two. Plus two. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. You would describe this? <laughs> is, is this he slashes down at one, damages it, whips the sword back around his head, and chops off the head of the. Ooh. It's like Mace Windu with Boba Fett's head. Yes. <laughs> no, Django's. Django's set, yes. Beheading one. All right, uh, the only round. I just occurred to me I forgot to shuffle after Joel's Joker, so I'm going to shuffle now. Only if that gives us another Joker. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to complain. It oh, jeez. So Joel gets a queen and a deuce. Oh, jeez, that's horrible. Lazo acts again. So you have the fully restrained one who's shaking in front of you. And two more that are partially restrained still. I'm going to wild attack. Wild attack, multi attack? Both of them. Uh, so we, uh, the shaken one and one of the fresh ones. Yeah. Okay, so the fresh one, Bob, what, he's a. Uh, he, his, what, what is his parry now? Uh, uh, there, has their turn started yet, or is, is Lazlo going before their round Lazlo starts? Before they do. <clears throat> Uh, I just want to make sure that they it's the start of their turn and versus the beginning of the round, because I don't want to be unfair to those guys. Um, each following round, an entangled target may make a strength or agility check to break free. Uh, so they have to do it on their turn. So, yep, they are still restrained. Right. What happens to the parry of the ones that are partially restrained? Yes. Uh, they're all skills tied to uh, strength and agility are reduced by two. So fighting is reduced by two, and then you recalculate parry based on fighting. So basically, parry, parry drops by one. If for partially restrained people, Perry's minus one. For fully Black restrained, it's still at two. One who is uh, completely restrained. It's shaken. Yeah. That's 11. Oof. Why are you adding stuff together? What are you doing? I'm sorry, seven and that's five. <laughs> he's wrong. He should only have one wild die, but he's using the two other dice, so it's yeah. fine. They both hit. Is he uh, getting gang up bonuses with, with himself? <laughs> <laughs> If these guys weren't fully restrained, they should be in a gang of So that wasn't a raise, right? Was a seven? Against the... Yeah, against the one that was that's fully restrained with a parry of two. That is... 
No, you, you, you needed the seven to hit the guy with the six. And you needed the five to hit the other guy. Just go with it. You don't even know what you're rolling anymore. Damage dice. <laughs> <laughs> 15, 19 damage. To which one? This was the first one, the one that was uh, shaking. He's not shaking any longer. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> he might have been shaking his boots for a minute. And he didn't have time to shake his boots. And now the fresh one, you don't get any get any, any extra bonus damage. The so just an extra rolls. Uh, he, uh, he did, did a wild attack, attack, so he does so get, get a plus, plus two, two, two damage on each. The die makes a big difference, because now we shaken. Nice. Someone else come out there with me? No. Uh, Shepard <laughs> Quirk. Uh, so, uh, so what, what do we have, have in the ground, ground right now? On Who the do we ground, have? you have one partially restrained, one partially restrained and shaken. Up in the air, you have at least three with, with guns. Uh, and uh, who – do we have any of our guys uh, – uh, sorry, who's after me before the bad guys start? Um, no, uh, uh, me. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you and the shooters. You and the shooters. I think I've got to take out the range guys versus the, the partially restrained. I got these guys, Bob. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh, shoot. But they're going to – Oh, they're going to totally go into you. With a minus two to parry and a gang of bonus. <laughs> All right, yep. I got to go help Laszlo. He races in, uh, even though fighting is not his forte. What's your strength? Uh, what, what does that matter? What's your agility? What? what? Uh, why are you asking these questions? What's your glory? Okay, so with my D4 strength, we'll, uh, uh, we're going to do a... Uh, uh, let's see. Should I boost? We're gonna do a wild attack, and plus, we are. Plus, have a plus one for for gang up bonus. That's, That's true. true. And he did he attack, attack both, both, so he's next to both. So what well, the hell? One was dead, but yeah, you could, attacks. You, you would, I assume you would want to attack the one who's shaking. Around. Why not both? Por qué no los dos? Uh, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like he's like Scooby Doo, and I'm Scrappy Doo. I'm like the little one, like not half as good. I'm just like the pale imitation. You're the character that nobody likes. Got it. Right. right. So, so what's what's your line, Scrappy? Uh, I don't remember what did Scrappy used to say. Let me at him. I'll splat him. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so here's the first one uh, with the wild attack, and that roll is a five. Is this That's the it. the shaken one or the unshaken one? Uh, shaken, shaken first, first, I guess. Okay. Uh, no, what's his parry right now? Six. But is you're he getting a bonus from Jeff? So you get plus one. Oh, oh, fair. And he's, did you he also subtract one from his parry because he's partially restrained still? His parry is normally a seven. Uh, so yeah, these constants are kind of are pretty tough. I reduce it to a six, and then your getting a bonus with Jeff makes it yours. Your Perfect. Okay. okay. And, and now the fighting on the other one? one? Does he get a second gang up bonus? Doesn't matter. I don't know. Uh, uh, roll seven. seven. Good. Now we don't have to deal with that. Big rules, I yeah. don't have to make that up. Because Jeff did not attack the second guy. You oh. like killed the other one. That's true. So you wouldn't get a bonus. So, damage so first it's just standard, standard damage, damage, right? 1d8 right? plus strength. strength. Yep. Starting with the shaken guy? Yeah, starting, starting with shaken. shaken. Here you go. That is a 9. nine. Oh, sorry, sorry. Plus, plus 2 uh, because of uh, wild attack. attack. That's an 11. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, Bob, we got to keep one alive. <laughs> and that last one is a uh, eight plus two uh, for gang up bonus. Uh, not gang up bonus, but for wild attack is a ten. So it shakes him as well. He goes down in a pile of pain. Um, the three guys up on the wall are reinforced by two more. They they arrive. They will not act this turn. Uh, the three that are up there will target. Uh, I don't get my turn. Mm. Fine. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have those two guys still show up anyway, distracting you. Um, Minus ten. Before I, after my turn is over, they distract me. Oh, Josh, Josh one, one question. question: the guy who's on the ground, ground. what's his toughness? Eight. Eight. Okay. Eight. okay. Thanks. <clears throat> so there's one guy left in the courtyard who's shaken, and six guys on the wall. Uh, five guys on the wall. You kill one. Five guys on Two of which just showed up. One. Okay. Uh, you killed one on the wall? Oh, he killed two of them then. Mike no. took one out too. No, you shook him and Mike killed him. Oh, okay. That's, That's right. right. 
Why don't yeah? Should we just run, make a run? Should we make a run for the stables? Because I'm trying to figure where we are. Like, can we get out of this uh, into the, in this inner courtyard area and be out of their, their Who's village? The giant? Yeah. <laughs> the giant. I, I, uh, like we're, I guess, and we're kind of here. I mean, if we get out here, can we be shot at still? I, I'm gonna say you're kind of right around there, right around there. Mm. Okay. Kind of coming out the front door. And so you, you have a long way to go because don't forget, all all the, the, the thin areas are um, potential guards on walls. You know, those, those circle, those circular or circles are towers yeah. connected by walls with guards on them. Well, you well, could you take, take your shot first, first and then make your move. Egon or, is or I could just, if I can run and get outside of that inner wall, we may have less people shooting at us because we kind of don't know where they are exactly. Do a notice check. I noticed that nothing. <laughs> Come on. I noticed, I noticed that it's dark out. Are we Every time. Everybody else do you. Shepard, give me a notice check. Can you give me a notice? No, you can't give me a notice check. <laughs> Shepard, give it to me and... Or, uh, Early can give it to me too. Okay. Fine. Okay, that's better than. I saw that three and I was getting really nervous. What time of the day is it? 11.40. So I know. At 8 p.m.? Yeah. A.m.? Early rolled a four. In game. So Early and Shepard both look up and realize at the same instant Ford's not here. He's always fine. He'll, he's fine on his own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I. Shit. Tara here? <laughs> She's there. Oh. She's got a gun, right? Why isn't yeah, she shooting? She, she did. She missed. Oh, okay. You're supposed to go oh, exporting us. So I, I think she that missed. maybe maybe running at the running for the stables might not be a good idea. Not yet. Not yet. And I should just <laughs> I should just I should shoot. Ride, ride, ride it for one more turn. <laughs> I, I, I read. <laughs> well, it was actually good. it's eleven forty one. You 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 hear horses isn't coming. Okay, guys. They are getting reinforcements on the ground. Be prepared for cavalry. And I, I point my gun at one of the guys on the wall. Uh, are, are you aiming? aiming? Pull the trigger. No. It, it's, it takes a full round to aim. Okay. Niner. I think I hit him. That is wow. Well, it's a shooting roll, so it's a, nine, it's a hit with a race. Yes. Hit yeah. with the so but rifle, don't be knowing the rules. Rifle's a 2d8 plus a d6 for the raise. Ooh. Eleven plus six is seventeen. Nineteen, and a wild attack. No. <laughs> Ow! Thank you. <laughs> Hold on. Give me like three minutes to play the video again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, the two guys. See, there's only two guys left on the wall at this point who can act. The other two are coming in. They, one targets Lazo. One targets. Oh. Quirk? Double ones, come on. You can do it. No, double ones means they... Oh. Don't get a hit the, I, was gonna, uh, I thought he... I, didn't, I, mean, I forgot he already rolled for... Single attack. ones. Now, because he did wild attack, does that make any difference for me? Yeah. Okay, so he misses Laszlo. Although Laszlo, sh uh, Laszlo hasn't acted yet. He's shaken. From, the, because he took the wound last round, right? No, that's Quirk. I who took, who took, took the wound? wound. Early, uh, early, early took the wound. Early. So Erling was not a target. Okay. Sorry. Quirk, Quirk is. Quirk is uh, I missed. I missed. The, I rolled a three in both cases. Okay. So it doesn't matter. It's close. All right. Um, so the shooters yeah, have gone. It is Erling's turn. So to recap, there's the one guy on the ground. Four more shooters up, up top. And uh, you, you you definitely hear the sound of horses. Um, uh, give me a give me another notice check. Perhaps you should let's seat back into the castle. There's a notice, notice check, check from early. early. He rolled a, another four. A five. Hey, guys, it is not nighttime like I saw before. <laughs> Fifteen. Shepard thinks, Shepard thinks it's more than a horses. It's like it's a carriage, horses, too. A carriage, you guys hear that? Uh, it's more than horses. The horses. What else could it be? What sound could like it be? Carriage. they've been shooed within the last... <laughs> what did you get? Two days. They were shooting last week, uh, yeah, last Tuesday, in the afternoon. One of the nails is loose. <laughs> <laughs> Left hind quarter. Uh, it's very uh, strange to hear Jeff's voice after 10 o'clock at night. I know, right? You know what? No, no, you don't hear me between 10 and 11. After 11, I'm back. <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> All right, early. 
Oh, uh, Erling's going to do double action once again since he's already uh, he's not moving and he's uh, aiming. Uh, he is wounded. Uh, oh wait, he's shaken right now. So first thing he's going to have to do is get rid of the shaken. Well, he's shaken and wounded. So yeah, so yep. he's got a minus one, one to, to this everything. roll. But he's got a plus two from you. So, uh, so it's a plus one. Yes. Yes, but okay. this is only to get rid of the shaken. His wound is still going to exist. He's still going to be at minus one for every roll. Yes. Yep. Understood. So he tried to roll the. Oh, good grief. He rolled double ones to try to get rid of the Shaken, even with the additional plus one. Uh, so I guess he will he use... Oh, he's, got one, one. he's got one more Benny. Does he use it? No, because what I if he gets shot again? <laughs> agree. I think he loses his turn. It is 11.45. And they're about to go next. <laughs> Actually, it's the one guard left who's shaken and partially restrained. That's all... The shooters already went. Shooter, oh, Bob. oh, oh, oh. These were the yeah, shooters. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. Then he's going to use his Benny. What the heck? No, no don't uh, use your Benny, he's saying. Oh, because... Yeah, yeah. You know, I'd rather end the night alive with a Benny than dead with no Bennies. Agree, agree. All right, he's he's done. He loses his turn. All right. Um, so the one that's restrained makes this check. And he's shaken. He made a seven, so he's uh, he's no longer partially restrained. But that is just I, before you accept that roll. Just note that the act of like rolling to get free takes up your action. So if you want to do another action, now you've got the multi-action. Well, I'm gonna roll against Shaken too. Ah, okay. That's Spirit, right? Yeah, sounds right. And do I? So he is still Shaken, but he is no longer partially restrained. Uh, Shepherd. Uh, quick question there: If you're Shaken, can you take any actions? I think it's only like I don't think it does much of anything if I remember right. It, it, like it only affects your pace. That so that means we, we does that mean Erling can still shoot while he's shaken? That's what we've done in the past. I believe. I'm trying to look it up, but I don't know how long this will take. Oh, I don't want to slow us down, but uh, we probably should figure that out. We can do it afterwards. Mm -hmm. I can do it during. Interesting. Oh, shaken. Uh, it's mentioned on four different pages, but none of them close to each other. <laughs> spirit check at the beginning of round of successful, no longer shaken, turn over. Yeah, it doesn't help. If us. there's a raise in the spirit check, get a regular turn. If shaken again, gain a wound. Uh, somewhere starting on 67 is the injuries. Soaking after a single attack, spend a many, make a bigger roll. Oh, we know that one. A success in each raise in the roll. There's still wounds also shaken. I'm doing a control F. <laughs> All right. Uh, shaken. Shaken characters are rattled, distracted, momentarily shocked. They aren't stunned, but temporarily suppressed enough that they must make a spirit roll to be effective. Oh, character must attempt to recover from being shaken by making a spirit roll. Did that? I failed. Uh, if failure. You... <laughs> character remains shaken. It can only perform free actions. So I don't even think that you could have, um, if you didn't make your shaken roll, you couldn't even have uh, rolled against the uh, to unrestrained. Ah, I see. Or you could just just said I failed. I spent a penny. I'm no longer shaken. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Shepherd. So he, so he's still stuck in the uh, in the psychic vines, I suppose. Yes, sure. Shepherd. Not that it matters. So we're not running away. Not yet. I'm very concerned about those horses as the, these mounted men who are going to come and run us down. <laughs> so there's, uh, there's how, how many on the wall? Uh, four on the wall now. And none of them are shaken. Correct. We have one guy who stand, is in front of us who was restrained and shaken on so, the ground. So I'll take another shot at the guy up on the wall. Are you shooting with your Derringer? No, he gave him a with my, oh, okay. with my pistol. As I am playing Mike tonight, I, it is my obligation to make fun of uh, Barker's Derringer. This nice is hot. 11. I guess they get Ooh. better with age. Hit with a raise? It's like Josh. What was that? I guess those dice get better with age. Thank you. Yeah, right. Use the same ones. <laughs> it's like five times in a row I've gotten a six on this die. Wow. And you, you hit with a raise? So nine, yeah. uh, 15. So you get another D6. It doesn't matter. So do I get this one? 
What about the roll? You roll You one. roll another d6. Is what Because you hit with the raise, you get an extra damage. Sorry. Where you been? So 17 now? 17? Ah! Ah! Right. ah. Will help. <laughs> okay. as, as the turn ends, four more uh, enter the courtyard from one side, four more from another side. Oh, boy. Three like more guys that. show up on the wall. I don't I like think this are in trouble. Here. Perhaps we should consider surrender. I surrender. <laughs> no, because that would be no fun. <laughs> Citizens Ford, arrest. Ford comes barreling up the way. <laughs> He's arrest. got a carriage. He's got four horses on front. He pulls up. Are, are their names uh, uh, Death, Famine, War, and Pestilence? No. Get in if you want to live. I think I their names are Ford, work. Chevy, to- Toyota, so I, I and Tesla. I actually have this great encounter where it, it's a chase scene. <clears throat> Where you guys are in the carriage, and there's another carriage, and there's werewolves chasing you. Oh, wow. Wait, we're <laughs> going to use the chase rules? Well, we were in part of chase rules, but it's already midnight. So I don't think we're going to run that, because my guess is that encounter is going to take like 45 minutes. We could do it next time. This time. So I think it will. we will pick up with that next time. I'm good with that. Yes, no? Not doing it now is good. Okay. Sounds reasonable to me. So I feel I feel bad, because I want, I kind of wrote for it just to get to this. Well, can I kill the guy first and then get on the horse? No, I just get on the horse. Ford runs the guy over with the horse. There's... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, because then there'd only be 12 Cossack instead of 13. Okay, I just get on the horse. All right, Bob, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you guys, too. I think the uh, word of the night was wild attack. Yeah, yes. I'm going to stop the recording.